So, la well, last time's recap is pretty simple. You guys cleaned <laughs> up the uh, Red Brand hideout. You did some shopping. You met your new adventurer, <laughs> Tim. You guys, uh, accept friends. you guys accepted a, uh, a quest from uh, the, the person who runs the Lion Shield Coster to send mostly what you guys had collected uh, over your travels in weapons and armaments uh, of a shipment going to Neverwinter. You guys set out on the road and got ambushed by some, uh, some hobgoblins. And from there, uh, you guys finished out your day's travel and we'll pick up right as you guys were starting your uh, nightly, uh, nightly camp long rest, just as you guys hit the high road. I believe um, the, uh, we already role played that a little and made food and whatnot. Um, if I remember right, Tim said he was going to take the first two watches to, to which Harry was thinking, I might not have to take a watch at all anymore. All right. Well, if you guys would like to go ahead and. Um your watches uh who would like to do the first watch go ahead and roll a perception check i think that's i'll go first and then yeah i'll go first nice well that works Yeah, um, you stay pretty vigilant throughout your watch. Um, you don't you don't see anything dangerous throughout your two hours, um, but you do notice a uh, a medium sized um, almost looks like it could be a beast of burden, of some kind. Uh, but it's pretty far out in the distance. You uh, you would estimate it's probably about two to three hundred feet away, and it's just kind of grazing along. Uh, pretty far off the road. So that's the only thing you see in those two hours. All right. I'll take. I'll just take a note of that. <laughs> and who's? I'll go next. Next. So. All right, Tim. I'll pass the torch to you. Or Peter. Peter. Sorry. Well, P Peter's the guy. Tim is the character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 14. Um, same thing. Nothing particularly uh, eventful on your watch, Tim. I mean, I said I'd take two. I mean, so other people um, can get more sleep if necessary, but... Uh... Sure. Oh, great. Thanks, Tim. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Got sleepy. I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, I'm like, not quite is. yet, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm passed out. I took my armor off and everything. I'm like, yeah. Well, I'm yeah you're like, you. Yeah, I know. Everyone's, everyone's like, new guy. He's you got. You made this. me that nice meal instead of dried rations. I'm just sitting here like, <laughs> hey. mm -mm. man. So yeah, basically you. Um, attempt to stay awake for that second two hours you start your eyes start to get a little heavy and just just as you start to think maybe you should wake somebody else up for watch uh you fall asleep um and uh i'll have everyone else make a perception check with disadvantage to see if you can wake up kind of feeling in the back of your mind that no one is watching this guy must be a half elf. Oh my god. Oh wow, we're rolling. <laughs> you talk about my mama like that. <laughs> yeah, so both Jar you. and Ezra, um, you actually you actually wake up pretty immediately. Um j just kind of stirring as as Peter falls asleep. Um and it's it's like you didn't even notice. It's almost like Peter woke you up and you just didn't notice it. That that uh okay. He had fallen asleep at the wheel a little bit. 
I'm out of my meditation, and uh, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, annoyed with these guys, and I don't know why. I think somebody may have been talking, you know, I have this, like, kind of third psychic sense about somebody talking about impugning my, my mother. Um, so that's not maybe partially human. Um, but, uh, but you know, I, I'm just like, oh, it must have been, you know, something bad during my meditation. Are you sure you're an elf? You're quite chubby. <laughs> no. All right, I, uh, if everything's cool, then I'll... We have one more watch, right? Yes. Yeah, Two so I'll take the last watch. I'll okay. Take the last watch. Good thing I didn't wait. You know, we'll just go uh, ahead and let your natural 20 cover the watch as well. Let's do that. You don't see anything. <laughs> um, you don't see anything except that that be beast of burden that, uh, that Uljar had seen earlier. Uh, it, 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 it goes across and to the south, um, though it does come a little closer across your path, um, probably about to within 100 feet before it starts to uh, uh, cross your path and start to head away. And uh, as it gets closer, uh, you notice it's it's a medium-sized... Um, it, it's almost like a... It's almost like an oxen, but it, it looks like... It looks a little different for some reason. Uh, but it doesn't seem theory? to notice you guys are there, or if it does notice, it doesn't seem to care, and it just keeps on moving. Um, is this during the middle of my watch, or like towards the end of it, or? Yeah, this is maybe about an hour into your watch. Okay, I am going to just let it continue on its way. Okay. All right. Well, you guys all wake up fully rested, and you are free to uh, break camp and continue on your way. All right. Oh man, I slept so well last night, guys. I me too. I haven't had a full belly like that on the road since I started going on the roads. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. I figured you need it for carrying all your ladders. <laughs> yeah. It does get rather strenuous taking those in and out. <laughs> all right, shall we continue? All right, at what pace would you guys like to set for the day? How far? We're trying to get to Neverwinter, right? Yep. Yes. And uh, what... This is a safer road, too. So we can go yeah, full speed. According okay. to other people, not me. Yes, right, this so is supposed to be. allows you to go 28 miles in a day. Uh, so we'll have you go 14 up the road. And then uh, I'll go ahead and have you guys... Um, let's have... Uh, Peter, you're, you're, you're the new one to the group. Why don't you go ahead and roll us a d20? See how your day's travel goes. There we go. Hey, that's, that's okay. pretty good. Well, maybe. I guess we don't know, do we? What for a shell? All right, ahead of so us? go ahead and roll me a d12. You get five level 17 monsters. <laughs> <laughs> there are five Tarasks blocking the path. For some reason, an elder dragon of three different colors and two different metals are fighting in the air above you. All right, and last but not least, roll a d6. Uh-oh. Oh, hold on. I'm clicking with trepidation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I would like to roll my uh, dice with uh, additional trepidation, please. Okay. <laughs> Four magic items appear. If we like see another party wandering up on the road, like it's a wagon or something, I'd like to cast mage armor on myself. Uh, but I would not <laughs> say I have the foresight to do so otherwise. <laughs> Your paranoia roll, suits uh, me everyone fine. Roll a perception check with disadvantage. Oh, okay. Damn. 
Yeah, about, about the same, 11, 10. No much of a difference. Yeah, disadvantage <laughs> because you guys are traveling quickly. Oh, he yeah, like, I got that's him. That works. It's where your rolls are on fire. Yeah, I know. Why am I wasting them oh, now? Two t <laughs> wow, yeah. Two twenties, holy. Hey, can I have one of those? <laughs> yeah. One of those twenties you got there? I'll take it for later. I thought a plus you know what? It... perception was, was, was gonna be good for this role, but I don't wanna, you know, uh how do you call it? Jinx it, but you know, it might be your night rusty maybe yeah let's just hold that thought yeah right <laughs> <laughs> is it is it the ladder guy the guy with the ladders wouldn't that be nice uh-oh now usually if it takes this long for me to set up what it is you guys can bet it's probably an encounter it's not ladder guy i mean ladder guy could be really hostile you never know so did anyone get higher than a 20? No. Nope. Not with this advantage. Okay. So you guys are once again surprised by an ambush. Uh, this time of just your regular old goblins. I don't know why there's two hairy on here. As the goblins come out, I exclaim, Damn, maybe sh someone should keep watch or something next time. I pay my taxes. and so, you know, I'm really wondering what I'm getting for it if the roads are this bad. Well... Wait. You start to you get the idea. You start to get the idea that perhaps um, the Karagma clan has something out to get you, and they are sending their forces. To, oh, we uh... should have killed those little fuckers. Well, you don't recognize any of these goblins. These appear to be goblins from uh, maybe from Kragma Castle, or maybe from somewhere else in the Kragma clan. But these are not are the goblins that? that you had uh, made a deal with in the Kragma hideout. Are you saying I don't fall prey to the human racism clause and I can differentiate between goblins? Everyone roll initiative. <laughs> uh, can I keep that oh, battle oh, right away? Always me. forget. To click can on I my keep token. that or do I need to click on token roll again? Uh, you can keep. You can keep. Yeah, keep the first roll that you rolled. Just uh, oh man, I it. should. I should ask if I could not keep that. Did mine show up? I forgot to, to click the character on the map. So yeah, if you forget to click it, then uh, redo it, but then just change your change your uh, initiative to be the first the first roll it made. Mm. Right. Ooh, mage, act, mage armor takes a whole action, huh? Oh. It yeah, does. 20... It takes a whole action. <sighs> it's okay. We've got other useful defensive spells that might come and help later. And handy later, something like that. I did remove my armor though. You put it back on when you're traveling, didn't you? No. I knew this magical staff could give me better armor. <laughs> Alrighty. And I attuned I guess, to that it. That makes sense. That makes sense actually. And oh, that's and I need why. Silver, that's too. why the wisdom. That's why the wisdom was inting me though, not using <laughs> it. <laughs> you guys still have silver with you. Yeah, my Let's man. Let's go, Sildar. Hey, Sildar, coming in hot. Sildar still didn't notice the goblins, though. Um, as so long yeah. as like my, I liked my old initiative much better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the goblins will get a surprise round on you guys. Oh, bro. Um, now, they're not going to approach because they are cowardly goblins. They have uh, bows. But they do. They have bows. So they I, mean, I mean, they have slings. So let's say. see, uh, one, one attack on Ezra, one attack on Oljar. Miss. One attack, uh, let's see, two attacks on Tim. Sometimes it'd be that way. Um, two attacks on Sildar. But they ain't got nothing on me. Yo, oh. not my man Sildar. Soldar's having a rough start. Yeah, it's not Yo. a great journey for him, unfortunately. And then one attack on Harry. I don't think Sildar can level up. 16 so... to hit? Ha! It would normally. But nice. we cast shield. Alright. Do I wait, do I get a reaction during a 
phase of I don't believe you do. Oh. I don't believe you get a you don't get a re yeah, you don't get a reaction on a surprise round. So, so eight pierces. Just... Oh my gosh! Oh that's max. Yeah. Damn! I also forgot to use false life. Because I'm hairy. Well, you got you were surprised. You weren't expecting this. So then we'll start yeah. at the top of the turn order with Sildar who will uh run out Come to on, here Sildar. and attack this one. If I had a 10 wisdom, I'd probably just be casting it every hour, though. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to make sure I'm tracking. Did they um, in, uh, inflict any damage on me? They did not. Let's see. Unless okay. Four, did sure the 14 was... hit you? No. Okay. Got it. Uh, no. Okay. Okay, cool. Just those top two. So, Sildar does have multi attack. Kill the goblin. Okay. He nearly kills this one. Big grievous wound across its chest. And they Harry. Um. Uh, well, I mean, it looks like it's going to go pretty well as long as I back up towards these guys a little. Um, I'm going to cast my hex on this goblin for my bonus action. And then I will agonizing blast that goblin. Motherfucker. Uh, that's gonna miss. 12 totally hits this guy, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got. All right, so the goblins will make another round of attacks on their turn. The first one will abandon his bow and pull out a short sword to, uh, or a scimitar to attack Sildar with. No, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. If Sildar dies, I'm never going to forgive myself. <laughs> I invited him on this journey. And so now we've got uh, one short bow attack against Ezra. Oof. 19 hit. Yep. Five piercing. Uh, one attack on Uljar. One Miss. attack on... Uh, two attacks on Tim. Ooh! <laughs> oh, double crit! <laughs> Uh, eight piercing to Tim. Uh oh, okay. And then one short bow attack to Sildar, and one short bow attack to Harry. Seventeen to hit. Which I will now use shield on. Yeah, there for we go. Two of yeah, my ten charges. Good call. Oh my. Really? Tim, your turn. Feeling too good. Um, let's see. But I will. Uh, I will attack. Um, this guy, and then use action surge. So let's make two longbow attacks, and let's see here. I'm at nineteen. And hey, no. <laughs> that's disappointing. I really feel those hits. Uh, those both miss. But um, let's see. Are you sure that? Goblin wasn't born with a limp and has a you lower get, you get two long, You get two longbow attacks? I used, uh, I wanted to use Axe and Surge. Ah. So. Okay. Yeah, both of those unfortunately miss. Low rolls. <laughs> oh, anything else for you? We're the worst adventurers. <laughs> That's it. Ezra. Yeah. Um, alright. I'm gonna... I've got your back, Ezra. I am gonna. But who's got its front? Hopefully him, because I barely have his back. So one drop. So I'll I'll uh. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll shoot an arrow at the one that's been hexed. All right. Which one did you hex? The top left one. Okay. Yeah. That was the one that hit you with the bow. Okay. Yeah. Fuck that motherfucker. Yeah. Well, it's gonna miss. It's disappointing. Anything uh, else? Uh, that's it for now. Old Jar. Save us all. Okay. Come on, Old Jar. Please. Just run around in a circle. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna try to do. Screen. All right. Uh, I'll move right here. Actually, yeah, I'll move right here. All right. 
bonus Very action rage. Breakable on our shipment. And then with my morning star, I'm gonna Please? try some. Fourteen. Fourteen just misses. God, oh, bro, the, go shit. the goblin pulls his shield up just in time to deflect your morning star. We, All were, right, that's... we were going for fucking four hours straight and nothing was happening. We started falling asleep, I guess. Yeah. It's... All right. Sildar. Will... But I'm tired. Misses the first. <laughs> Yo, takes... Sildar's the only one doing damage. Takes that goblin down on the second. And he that will... guy has a lower sure. level than us, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Harry. Okay. I gotta, gotta read this spell here. 10 foot radius. Can I shatter these two in a way that doesn't hit yeah. Sildar? Certainly. Okay. Um, I'm trying to cast the shatter at level two. Yes, that is my level. Uh, first one passes, takes half damage, and dies anyway. Uh, and this one fails and dies. All right, and with, uh, that was successful. and with my bonus action, I'd like to switch my hex to the top right goblin. Alrighty. Because I've got Ezra's back. All right, well, that goblin will take a short bow shot at Ezra. And oh. this. Because uh, he's hex. Clearly. One short bow on Old Jar. One scimitar attack on Old Jar. That hits. Oof. Six halved because you're raging. Yes. So three. three. Uh, this goblin here will take a short bow shot at him. 18 to hit. Yep. For another eight piercing. Yo, Tim. These goblins are doing max damage. And you guys Goblin also hear three than... additional goblins coming out from this direction. They use oh, their no. they use their entire movement to get to there. Um, but uh, you see them heaving a little bit. But you see three more goblins bunched up over here. Fuck! Tim. Only if I still had shatter. All right. So. Um... Let's see. I'd like to I like to make an attack against this one right next to to Uljar, but I'm going to use the precision attack. Let's see. So that just adds a superiority die because it'd be nice to hit something. Right. Um, it would be. And so. Oh, here we go. Did that add the? No. Superiority. No. So I clicked the. So I just clicked the superiority die here. Yes. Oh, oh, that's enough. That's, oh no, it's not. No, twelve. That's just a one. <laughs> Bro, we're getting trolled. Yep. Nope, you're getting goblin. Anything getting goblin. Ah. Yeah, thank God it's not yeah. a troll. If we get a, if we if we got goblin, we're in real trouble. All right, Ezra. that's it. No if, All right, if it was I'm a gonna, troll, yeah. I am gonna cast sleep right in the middle of the new goblins and the one standing off to our right yep. here. Yep, so like right here well, and hit those four. Yeah, well, gotcha. that's like catch them, yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right, let's see those beautiful D8s. And let's see here. Do I, uh, hmm. I don't remember how I cast it. Oh, there we go. Right. 21, that's enough to put three of them to sleep. Do you want to prioritize the back ones or this front one? Uh, let's prioritize, uh, the back ones. Okay, so all three of these, we'll just remember, all three of these guys fall asleep. I can't let you get hit now, I think, right? <laughs> Old jar. Uh... Oh, sorry, did you have anything else, Ezra? Um... No, that's it. Alright, Old jar. Alright. And now I'm more angry. Yeah, I missed. So I'll, I'll recklessly attack, <laughs> but <laughs> guys, yeah, uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I got zero guys. spells left, but I'm working on it. 
Anything else for you? No, I'm good. <laughs> All right. So Sildar will run down to this one. Sildar's going to get the most kills. Just kill them all, Sildar. Bro. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> he does. He what kills the fuck? This goblin. What's his combat rating? Let's head over here. Sildar I'm with him. <laughs> uh, Harry. All right. I'm going to hit this hexed motherfucker with the biggest agonizing last of my career. <laughs> yeah, check that out. It was small, even though it missed anyways. Yeah, uh, you, you, uh, it goes past the last one of these trees part. <laughs> All right. Then I'm like, fuck it. I got to gotta take one for the Ezra. I run what? up there. Harry, no. I got you. I got your back, Ezra. All right, so that goblin will pull out a scimitar and attack you with it. Thirteen. I will cast shield. All right. Even though I... this goblin will step up and uh, and have they have you surrounded. So this first one, this first one will uh, attack with a scimitar, just basic level. Oh. oh for nine reduced to five slash five. Okay. And the second one will attack you with flanking, so it gets a plus two. Well, that's still a misses. miss. And you guys hear three more goblins running out of the woods from the south. Good grief! Uh, Ezra, how long are those guys asleep for? Eleven goblins so far. I mean, so far. See, if I shattered right, I if I shattered right, I could have got like a quadra kill. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tim, more goblins have shown up. Well, uh, I cough out some blood because uh, I ain't feeling that great. Then I then I say, "Hey, little dryer, I got you, buddy!" And uh, I shoot at uh, this guy. All right. Um. So, and I'm gonna use a superiority die. Uh. Let's see so. Well, first roll the attack. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. A 12 normally would miss, so go ahead and roll your superiority die. Three or more. Three Why or am I at negative three? Because your sh sharpshooter is on. Are you wanting oh, okay. to sharpshooter? I didn't, mean, I, I, I didn't mean to have sharpshooter on. But... Okay, then it would hit without your superiority die, because it would be... Okay, a, sorry about that. Yeah, because yeah, it would be a, a plus... Um, a plus two. So yeah, it'd be a 17 would hit. So yeah, you don't need precision. Gotcha. And then just roll a D8, I guess. Well, just yeah. hit the longbow button there in the chat. Got it. No, no. I mean, like, in the chat window, just click the longbow. Click oh, the sorry. Longbow okay. there, and and it'll roll I haven't damage. done damage before, so <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, uh, that does kill him. Yay. <laughs> I told you, buddy. Thank you. It's all about that teamwork. Thanks to DreamWorks. Alrighty. And actually, I want to keep track of how many goblins there are. So we had one kilt here. But yeah, there were four up here. Alright. And uh, Ezra. Or no, sorry. Uh, yeah, Ezra. Um, I... Help them, Ezra. I got this guy. I'm gonna scooch up next to Harry, and I will cast my other remaining sleep spell on the other three goblins down there. Alrighty. Okay. Yep, all three of them fall asleep. Yay. These are six sleeping goblins. I'm slitting all of their throats. I don't... <laughs> uh... Yeah, that's it. Alright, I'll try. I'll take the one that 
that's behind me or not in front of me. And let's see what I do. Oh my god, I swear. <laughs> Was it reckless or was it regular? It was regular. Oh, okay. Yeah, that misses. <laughs> We're both okay. having a bad day, ain't we, buddy? Yeah, yep, we are. <laughs> uh, he will step out next to Tim here, and Sildar will pull out a heavy crossbow. And he'll shoot once at uh, this goblin. And miss. Gary. I couldn't possibly miss this ability. I hate my armor. You just miss with that ability. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you reach out your hand, uh, with, uh, which is uh, teeming with electricity, and uh, the goblin puts his wooden shield in between the two of you, and it just fizzles out on the shield. Hmm. That doesn't count as a miss, right, Ezra? It's more of a block. Yes. It, if you planned it out, right? It, wood's just not a great conductor. Yeah, I need some help, bro. <laughs> I skirt around him, just keeping my palm going with electricity on the shield, so he's got to turn around, I hope. Alrighty. All right. So that goblin will attempt to slash you. Uh, scimitar. 23 to hit. Alright. Yeah, he, he hits me for sure. Six slash. Uh, that hurted. And Hurry. the second Stay. one will try to attack Oljar and miss. Yes. And that's it. Uh, Tim, your turn. Alright. Same as before. Uh, and use a... Yeah, that's... Yay. Yep. Yeah, 15 hits. Hit. Yay. I'm not used to that. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> oh, do yeah. Do <laughs> Yay! Are you meaning to use your superior to dam on the damage? Uh, no. I... Yeah, then you'll want to uncheck that on your... Okay. But yeah, 8 is enough to kill it still. Got it. Um, Ezra. One conscious goblin left. Yeah. I'll uh, attack him with my rapier. Do. That's unfortunate. Uh, yep, that is going to miss. <laughs> um, mm, Don't worry. <laughs> I got it. him, bro. <laughs> well, well thanks. thanks for yeah, the help. Right. I'll move up to this <laughs> goblin. Yep. Right here. Uh -huh. And I'll see if I can finally land a hit. Come on. Recklessly. Yay! 18. That hits. Right. There we 14. go. And as you so often see Ultra do, he uh, cuts the <laughs> goblin in half. With a morning star? <laughs> like yeah, he hit him so hard, he split it right down the middle. It's crazy. <laughs> Defying the laws of physics. Just pulverizes this guy. Does it splatter at all? It, it, is it clean? Yes, yes. It's like two very speed. flattened, <laughs> splattered piles of goblin before you. It's a bloody mess. He did, do say, he did double the goblin's health. I say we just chain these guys up. We just leave them here. We loot them. And we just leave a half of this goblin in front of each group. So they get Whoa. the message. Maybe they're from... Uh... Plant or the they're from the castle. Can't we just uh maybe take one see where the castle might be? Let's um well let's. I mean let's also it's to... better to kill them. Yeah, you're right. Uh, fucking. Are we we gotta clean up the friends? roads. Yeah, we gotta clean. It. Yeah, Sildar, you're fine oh. killing these goblins while they're asleep. Well, if we wanted, we could keep one alive and interrogate them. But yes, I don't see any point in keeping the other five alive. Vile creatures. Maybe we keep two alive so they're worried about each other's safety as much as their own. Ah, do a little bit of uh, who talks first. Yeah, yes. who talks first, good cop, bad cop, all of those things I understand. Is game theory sure. a thing that exists for goblins? 
I like, yes, I understand like, that the, word too. The, the prisoners, I'm, I'm the pretty limo. Sure that the goblins is that would, like a thing? I'm pretty for them? sure the goblins would eat each other if they were able. I was just gonna say it's like if you give them a you know, hey, I'm I'm offering you this complex you know you know way out, and they're just gonna say we eat other guy. Are we right? in combat still? No, you are. While they're asleep. Okay, I just walk up to this right. one and yeah. move my hex to him. And... You can, you guys can easily coup de gras any and all of these goblins if you would like. Yeah, they're, okay, we'll they're leave asleep, cool. so unconscious, you would attack them with advantage, and it would be a crit. So I'm just, you, you guys can just slit their throats. It's fine. I just shock and grasp this guy. It seems much cleaner. Sure. And I'll bash him. <laughs> yeah. I'm practicing. All right. Uh, we still right have. Over. Here, who's got the rope? Is yeah, there, we need. Uh, and I got grab, some rope. Let's grab I'm two gonna... of these ones. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna look around to see are there any more coming. Make uh, a perception uh, check. Anything else? Coming? Yeah, may I do that as well? Yes, both of you may make a perception check. Oh, there's the rolls. Oh, there are the rolls. Yeah, they are. Uh, just in things, the, you know, outside things, of combat. Yeah, I think so. Tim is hyper down. alert right now. <laughs> He's down to nine HP. He's not feeling particularly well, so he is <laughs> engaged. <laughs> yeah, as things start to calm down, you guys do, uh, you guys do definitely note that there are no more goblins coming. There, there's nothing else in the area. As you look around in the woods, uh, right. you're very, very confident that uh, this was the entire lot. All right. Well, so are they're safe. tying them up. I'll start looting the bodies from the other ones to see what we got. Can you kill that third one there, too? We're only taking two of them. Okay. Oof. Oh, I was asking Ezra. No way. Old Jar heard you. Okay. <laughs> Old Jar. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. All right, so amongst all of the goblins, you find 32 gold. Party loot, party loot, let me open the tab. That's too far. Okay. And each goblin has the same generic uh, setup of, of armor and armaments. So you have 11 damaged leather armor. Okay. Shields. Four, seven. I think there were 14 goblins, right? No, you originally had seven, and then you had two packs of three. So 13. My bad. How many shields? So, so sorry, 13, oh, there, oh. 13 of everything. There so we go. 13, 13 yeah. damaged leather armor, 13 shields, 13 oh. scimitars, and 13 short bows. All right. Well, we have 17 shields on this cart. And we'll call it, <laughs> we'll, we'll call it 100 air. All right. Okay. Does anyone need arrows? I'll take a couple. You can take as many as you want, man. All right. I'm just gonna fill yeah. my quiver. Once so, we yeah. get to the city and turn this cart in, I don't think we're gonna be able to carry all this loot anymore. Well, you uh, guys. Yeah. Well, you guys could certainly oh. sell the loot and never. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do we got that. 17 shields. You're literally taking bows. this cart. To an armorer in Neverwinter. So. Yeah. Oh, we'll just make a little a... section, our stuff, yeah. you know, on the cart. Yeah. Okay. Um, it... We're headed to I... the Swords R Us, okay? I think they'll, <laughs> they'll take whatever we take. Is it cool with you guys, maybe, if we all take turns taking a short rest on the cart yeah. while we go real slow? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Can yeah. I go first? I don't know, man. I say we book it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we need I to think... interrogate these goblins first. Well, so you guys I... need a short rest. Yeah. yeah uh, I didn't take any damage, so I don't. I didn't need to. I took a little. So. I guess me and Tim will short rest in the cart <sighs> yeah, with the I'm goblins. Gonna... Yeah, you guys is can it... do that. I was about to say, yeah. is it a big enough cart for that? All right. Well, I mean, you could just short rest anywhere in the area. But yeah, there are two spots on the head of the cart that you could sit if you wanted. You but yeah, so you wake up both the goblins. They both tied up and look fairly terrified. Uh, All right. 
I think you guys got to deal with it while I'm short resting, man. Yeah. I yeah. nagged out into a nap already. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, me, Ezra. Go ahead, old jar. You, you, you go for it. All right. I breathe a little bit of lightning from my mouth <laughs> while while looking at the goblins, staring them in the eyes. Right, make and an the, intimidation yeah. check with advantage. Not ten. <laughs> <laughs> They're both well. Hey, They're there completely we go. terrified. <laughs> and all right, I say to them, "I know you're from Kragma Castle." And I see, do I see like they react to it or? Yeah. I want to know where the castle is. Uh, they both look, uh, they both look in a eastward direction. How many miles? Hmm. One moment. They don't use imperial. Or they don't use international units. Savages. Yes, they use imperial. They've taken us to the title screen. Those bastards. I know, right? All right well, I had to measure. Um, I know, I know. Uh, it's it's about a day. It's about a day if you run that direction. Which, which direction? This way. This way. This way. Uh, he this points way. out in this. Out in this. This direction. This direction. Yeah, east. Okay. East. Slightly north. Okay. Slight, slightly northeast. Easy. All right. Uh, this area. All right. In the middle of the woods. Let me draw a circle like around this area. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I drew the circle around. Like it. right here. Yeah, <laughs> I should have. So, so what he's saying is, if you moved at a fast pace, you would get there in about a day. So that day? would be, okay. you know, some somewhere out in here. You would think. Alright. Uh, I'm trying to move this circle. Yeah, I'm trying to move this circle. And so, oh, here we go. You gotta highlight it now. Yeah. Actually, let me just... Uh... <laughs> it's in the middle of a river! It, it's conveniently right between Neverwinter and Thunder Tree, exactly where you're going. Yeah, Alright, <laughs> right, it's around <laughs> this area. <laughs> Give or take. Yeah, yeah. I like that. It's a nice circle you drew there. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not perfect, but it's perfect to me. <laughs> hey guys, I gotta hop. I got a little emergency phone call here. I gotta hop off for just a minute. All right. All right, man. All right. No problem. I look back at the goblins. I was like, you're not lying to me, are you? No, man. Why would we agree. lie? We don't want to die. I'll inside it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Yes, to make sure. Yeah, they they are scared to death of you, and they are telling you the okay. truth. Okay, all right then. All right. You won't die, but I guess we can take you as slaves to Neverwinter. I guess that's better than nothing. Would you let us go if we led you to Kragma? We I'll can take you directly it. there. I'll think about it. And I get off the carriage. And then I guess I'll talk to the rest of the party. I guess or after they wake up from the short rest. <laughs> well, 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 either way, guys, we're part You guys can talk during a short rest. You don't have to be yeah, unconscious. Yeah, okay. you, just no, have to, you just have to out, be sitting dude. around basically doing nothing for an hour. I'll I'll wake up, uh, Harry. You know, uh, after this discussion. Uh huh. You know, he what? Can... What's going on? The goblin says they can take us to uh, Kragma Castle. Which goblin? I know a lot of goblins. The ones we just captured. That makes sense. Do you trust them, Peter? Uh, I can do a perception yeah. check. Uh, insight would be to see if you inside no you're correct yeah yeah 
yeah, you are very confident that these goblins have no loyalty to the Kragma clan. They are completely self-interested, and they would gladly escort you to the outskirts of Kragma Castle if you agreed to let them live and flee as soon as you, they got you yeah. there. Now, gentlemen, a question, though, is is will they return to and tell their bosses, though? The location may be correct, but do we actually trust these guys further than we can yeet them? Um, Uljar, you can probably yeet them pretty far. Uh, That's a good point, Tim. I mean, they may go running and, you know, they may have the whole crag, the whole, uh, the whole clan might be waiting for us. Then up ambushes all along the way, so... Well, maybe we can turn these into local constabulary, but, uh, you know, I'm just saying frontier justice is what it is, but. You don't think someone would lie like that, do you? That seems rather underhanded. Well, there are people like that in the world. Uh, Harry, you should be careful about those people. They'll take advantage of you and then just throw you away. Take advantage of us and then throw us away. I've got a great idea. How about we just tell them we'll let them go and then we just sell them at Neverwinter when we're done anyways? Well, they, they... We're not lying. We technically let them go to someone else. <laughs> Smart plan, but they want they want to take us to Kragma Castle. Yeah, well, we can do that. Leave them tied up. Like, they're not going to get out of chains. Got 100 feet of chain. Sell them back at Neverwinter. Uh, well, I'm not really comfortable with the whole uh, selling of uh, sentient creatures, even uh, ones that may be as uh, odious as, as these guys. So you think we should just let them go? Uh, you know, tie them up and, and drop them off somewhere, or um, this is a moral conundrum. <laughs> well, I'd like to use two hit dice during this short rest. Yep, you can, yeah, you can all roll your hit dice. Okay. Which, uh, Sildar will also use his. Um, that I'll maxes roll. me out. I'll roll two. And I will also cast um... Mage armor, oh, which I do not know how to put on my sheet. Right. Well, I was th Ezra right now is thinking about it, but I we we still have to go to Neverwinter to drop these items off, and then it's probably also a good idea to head towards Thunder Tree to talk to that druid. Either we bring him in, or we. Uh, and, and complete our mission, or um, we head straight into the woods with our donkey and valuable goods that we promised to deliver. Well, what's the difference in handing them over to the to the guard and That's just true. selling them to someone? We never said that. We we said we'll let them live. We never said how they're gonna live. Well, Sildar would finally join the conversation here and say, "Well, technically." It is illegal to sell sentient creatures into slavery, even, as you said, even vile creatures like goblins, which is not something I could support. Though, I suppose if you guys wanted to take the goblins into Neverwinter, I could just look the other way and ignore what you do. But um, I will say the goblins themselves individually don't pose much of a threat. Um, I would imagine that their numbers are being depleted with each of these attacks that they throw out. So I imagine, one, the castle probably isn't as jam-packed as it would have been had we not had these most recent two attacks. Uh, so more likely they're vulnerable and obviously more desperate because they're worried about you all. This might be a good time to strike. As far as letting the goblins go, again, individually they don't really pose that much of a threat and they're, they're probably only acting on the orders of the uh, the leader of the clan. So how much you want to punish them, that kind of depends on what you think of goblins, of little tiny small creatures that are just following the orders of a giant bugbear. They've probably been uh, manipulated and 
uh, intimidated into action. Oh. So we should give them to the guard, is what you're saying, Sildar? Well, if you were going to turn them in, you would turn, yes, you would certainly turn them into the guard, but you could also, we could also certainly, I, I personally would have no problem about letting them go if they were to let, uh, bring us to Kragmaw Castle. That seems like a fair deal, in my view. They certainly won't be returning to their, to their leadership if they let us here. Uh, if they let us to the castle, because then they would be slaughtered. Well, we can't, we, we can't just head into a forest full with what with carts of weapons yeah we gotta stop by neverwinter either way but maybe we can go straight to the castle instead of that other place Thunder we tree. were going well the woods the woods are not uh super thick in all places uh there's a good chance that we could find something resembling a path that we could pull the uh pull the cart through it might it might be a little slow going once we hit the forest uh, but most of the, most of the Neverwinter Wood isn't so isn't so deep that we couldn't take a cart through it. I was more concerned with the fact that this isn't our cart. Yes, and, we did uh... we did took a mission to. No. That's what I'm saying. This posse needs to roll into town, drop these two miscreants off with the uh, local authorities, and deliver the goods. Uh, yeah. We will act on their intelligence at a later date. We've got to do good by Miss Greywind. Well, I go, I go where Sounds you good. go. I can just only hope that that uh, Gundren can hold out. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Gundren. That's terrible. Holy crap. How long has it been in that castle? Well, uh, we, were, we were taken uh, three... Four, five days ago and uh, if the castle is where they're indicating it is uh, he probably made it there in two days from the hideout if he was being escorted by goblins so he's been in there like three to four days oh no one one or two days no it, three three or four is correct this part oh. I oh. say oh. he can hold out at least a week he looks like a tough bastard, I think. I, yeah, I'd say I want to get to him as fast as possible, but we accepted this cart of goods to deliver. Um, we'll we also be just... a lot more prepared once we sell our inventory to someone in Neverwinter. We yeah. can grab some potions and then dip straight away. Okay. Light That's... load. All right, then. We, Fair enough. The, the party then agrees that we go in Neverwinter, we gear up, we we give these goblins to the guards, and then we head towards Never the Neverwinter then. Or I mean uh, yeah, Neverwinter right. Forest. I mean no, I'd I'm say pretty sure I could carry one of these goblins into my uh <laughs> into my pocket dimension. I'm not sure. I haven't <laughs> tried it. But he'd be nice you and safe in there. You can't take other creatures, I don't think, in there. Yeah. I don't know uh, either. But, uh, maybe if we told the guards at the city what was going on, that we need at least one of these goblins to lead us to the hideout. Well, we, they like may I said, we release him to our care, you know, when we're ready to leave. How what? How's the law look on already having slaves? Is it only illegal to buy and sell them? What if we tell them this is an indentured servitude to pay for their crimes? Will that work, Sildar? Unfortunately, no. Slavery on the Sword Coast is outlawed in all its forms. So having so slaves we... is just as illegal as buying or selling them. So if we t tried to tell the guard that we were just keeping him hostage until he let us there, that would be like slavery, right? Uh, if your intention was to turn them in to the proper guard for the proper punishment, then certainly that would be fine. But keep you know keeping them captive. But 
What if we just hire a city guard to come with us so it doesn't even look a little illegal? He can be in charge of the goblins the whole time. And the, yeah, that's true. And he can stay outside with the goblins, making sure they don't. Yeah, and they, so they, they gave us instructions away. already. I mean, we've we've we know we know generally. You know, we can ask them like you know additional details about the the construction of fortifications you know rough oh, if you order, wanted you know, to keep numbers. the goblins to escort us back to the castle after neverwinter they would i'm sure they would be fine with that especially oh. if we're letting them go versus turning them over why well, don't think the guards would be okay with <laughs> us letting the goblins go don't know well either way we gotta head to neverwinter so yeah I agree. Well, we'll go to Neverwinter. We'll gear up, and if anything, we'll go to Thunder. We we still have that thing in Thunder Tree. Okay, so you guys make it another fourteen miles down the road. Uh, it starts to get dark, as uh, you're still you're still a little ways from Neverwinter. Um, I say we blitz it, boys. You're looking at at least another. Uh, four hours of travel to get to Neverwinter. I'm saying Three. we blitz it, boys, and we just stay in an inn and have a nice rest. Leave first thing tomorrow. Or after we sell and do what we it, need it, to do. It would be about the same time, so it doesn't... Even if we arrive there in the middle of the night, we will have to then rest and then get our gear and then probably leave at night which I don't think nobody do, wants to do so we'll have to leave the morning after the next so it's going to be up at the same time I just think we're a lot more likely to get ambushed uh, dumped right here yeah I'm tired of getting ambushed well I mean alright alright Peter you want to book it yeah, I really think we should, you know, uh, get there as fast as possible, drop off this gear, and, you know, get out there before the situation changes too much. It's possible the goblins may call for reinforcements, though surely they have a timeline waiting for their, uh, you know, their ambushers to, to come back and report either success or failure. And uh, any time beyond that, you know, window um, means that they will may begin additional preparation. So I think we should be, uh, we should move expeditiously. Okay then. All right All then. Right. Well, we'll book it through. Uh, Harry, Harry with go ahead and roll me a d20. Yeah, man. I wanted to also give um, dark vision to uh, to Harry and Oljar. Um, and Sildar. For our... I can only give it, it to two people. I oh, think. Okay. It'd be a lagging. It just says rolling the dice. Okay, it was the nine. It just needed me to type it again. Okay. So yeah, you guys are able to make it to Neverwinter without issue. Hey. Tired as fuck. Yeah, you get a little bit of uh, a greeting at the at the gate um, before you are let in, but uh, you're not you're not a particularly suspicious uh, group, and you would have a writ um, from the Lion Shield Coster. Uh, so you, you clearly have permission to enter. We didn't pass the ladder guy. I hope he's not dead. <laughs> I forgot all about the ladder guy. Um, you would have it's seen him fun. early. You would have seen him early in the day after you had left somewhere down, down in this area of the road. So I can exchange that six gold for the two ladders? Absolutely. Fantastic. And then I would have had a reason to use my little portal thing. Two 30-foot ladders. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll stay in, stay in the inn. All right. So um, the cost is uh, one silver per person for the, uh, for, well, one silver per room. I should say, so you guys can decide whether you want to um, uh, all stay together. Or... I want my own room, if that's cool with y'all. Uh... 
Unless someone needs me to sleep in their room, I guess. Well, two of us, or either me and Peter or me and Ezra could take a room with the goblins just to make sure they don't do anything. Or we drop them off in, to the guards in the middle of the night. I think we could probably they find him a cell at the at the guardhouse, explain what's going on, that we're involved in a, you know, mission to rescue another person, that they're part of that. Um, I think that, you know, they'd be able to throw him in the, the lockup. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Guards are a little sleepy, but there are a couple that are always up in the uh, in the local jailhouse. And uh, yeah, they're happy to uh, oblige to help you guys out when you guys tell them the story. Great. All right, but then we'll get. I guess I'll get my own room. Sure. How much would uh, food and drink for the night be? If I can get some nice meals from the inn we're staying at. Uh, nice meals. The uh, best meal they have that doesn't cost gold. That doesn't cost gold. Yeah. Well, any any kind of meal is going to cost some sort of coin. Um, yeah. yeah. Is it silver. Uh yeah, we'll say we'll say five silver for uh for everybody if you guys want a really nice meal. Oh, yeah, but yeah, so silver did. would offer to pay for uh, no, 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 for no, food and drinks if you wanted. No, oh, silver. Nice. Of course, I've got it this time. I pay my six remaining silver for a room for myself and food and drinks for everyone tonight. Okay. I'm very good with my money, Silver. Thank well, you. thank you very much. Yeah. Great. You, got a, you had us in Fandolin. We can't have you paying everywhere. Well, I wouldn't even be here if not for you all. So I feel uh, feel like it's uh, still a fair, fair deal. But uh, hey, I you, wouldn't look at your horse in the mouth. You owe us nothing. You're part of this team. We wouldn't be here without you. You handled those goblins on the road like they were butter on your blade. All right, so long rest. Yep, you guys can all get a long rest. I'll do it. Do I get one or two hit dice of three back? Uh, you get half of your level rounded down. So one. So one. I get my spells back. Oh, wait, I already have the spells back. Yep, short rest for warlocks. <laughs> hey, on the bright side, if we got ambushed by goblins, again, I knew better and to use... Shattered twice on them this time. Um, I gotta roll 1d6 plus 4, I think, for the staff. And I forgot to roll my uh, yeah, see how many wild surge. <laughs> it's like I forgot to roll my wild surge. Oops, that's my fault. I forgot about it, but that's fine. All right, it is full, or er, it stops at 10 or er, staff of defense. Yeah, you should just have something on your character sheet that just says staff defense charges. Um, I made a other resource, but yeah. it doesn't have the... I don't know what the max is. Uh, let's see. Ten charges, yep. Split, okay. We are at max. So yeah, you get at least half of those back every day. Plus whatever you, extra you, from the roll you get. Nice. So right. we'll sleep the night, and then we'll in the morning we'll drop off the weapons at the. Sounds good. When All I right. wake up, I immediately cast mage armor on myself. There you go. Yeah, Learning you can just cast it three times day. per day. Once you wake up, once in the middle of the day, and then once you go to sleep, and you can technically have have plus right. plus that armor, twenty four hours. Does it stay active while I'm asleep? It would. If you That's cast it on question. yourself before you go to sleep, then it would just 17, stay there. That would be a 14 armor class while I'm asleep. Which I guess doesn't matter if they can roll the free crit. <laughs> At well, least I could wake up. They would get an advantage, would... but then if they hit you, then yes, it's an auto crit. Okay, okay. That makes more sense. But they would still have to roll a 14 just to hit you. I and also so can... cast false life. <laughs> Is there a downtime that I can cast mending on the leather armors that are 
Well, that depends. Do you guys? What do you guys want to do? Do you want to take downtime here in Neverwinter, or are you guys well, just not... selling everything and then just heading out in, in early in the day? Yeah, it'd be more along the lines of what can I get done? <laughs> what can I mend? Yeah, do we have With an hour or two in the long leaving, rest, or no? Basically, still leaving right away, you know. So mending, uh, you spend one minute. Um, so what I'll say is with the mending spell, um, it's, it would take one hour to fix something that is damaged and two hours to fix something that is heavily damaged. Okay. It's so, honestly just it's honestly just better to sell because so we're moving now yeah. to save them Could real we, quick. Yeah, respect. unless you guys want to keep a hold of the damaged armor so that you can fix it as you go and then sell it as you go. Do we get uh, downtime that we can do mending during a long rest, or is that too strenuous? Uh, I'll say you can get two hours, because you have to be right. asleep for at least six hours. Well, there's four damaged chain mails, and they're not heavily damaged, so we could fix up the chain mails oh, okay. and keep the 13 damaged leather armors. Wait, sell the chain mails, but keep the leather armors? They're damaged, and we can only fix four. Oh, okay. We got. We just happen to have four right. chain mail. Okay. I guess that's uh, fine. I guess we'll we'll head towards the shop. Yeah. All right. To drop off. We have a little morning breakfast mending session together. Are you the preacher kind of cleric, or no, are you like no, a, a front line it's, kind of cleric? It's. Uh, it's not. Yeah, I guess I'd say it's more of a something I dabbled in would be a closer way to describe for my character. You have oh, like your battle zealot or anything <laughs> like that, right? It, it, it's it's more of something that complemented my primary, uh, you know, my primary personality skills which is more of a frontline fighter so you're more of like a templar than a cleric there, yeah that's that's not a bad way to think about it yeah so well who what god do you worship i don't personally believe in any higher powers except for the one that i've met so <laughs> uh geez i don't know <laughs> i don't know i have not gone that far into my character You just kind of worship all of them, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Praise the forebears. <laughs> so just don't just don't worship the dragons, and no you dragons. should be fine with me. All right. <laughs> Is it so a what dragon? Can we... I don't know, man. So what can... Dragon god sounds kind of sick. <laughs> uh, they'll they'll treat you as a slave. And then they'll yeah, kill right. you off when they'll. I thought you were a priest. Never mind, I'm the out. The whole time, the whole time you were healing us and stuff, oh. I thought you were like a man of God. Well, kind of, but not exactly. You gave me that speech about forgiving myself, and I thought it was coming from a higher, more important well, place. Oh, I, I'm not saying that it wasn't. I'm just saying that that's not. All of who I am, I guess, is what I. How I okay. Would. I can respect. If you can still that. believe and yet still at not be your main, you know, you can still believe and not be a preacher, so to speak. I don't know. Last faith. time I was in Neverwinter, I said something like that, and they called me like a bemassler or some shit. Well, that's not. I think that's what he said. I mean, a, he's a not blamasm of her. <laughs> a blamasm of her? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go to the store. What's the what's what's the scoop at our store here? All right, so you go to uh, a fairly large shop uh, that that uh, they had indicated where to go from the Lion Shield Coster. Um, you see that it's it's uh, it's a pretty big shop. It's got a, a giant. Uh, 
wooden carved shield symbol uh, with uh, crossing swords in front of it. Um, and you head in and uh, you see that there are several pages uh, moving about in this area. Um, you, just just at, a, just at an initial glance, you see four of them, but uh, the longer you're in the shop, you see more emerging from the back. This is obviously a very busy place. Um, but you do, uh, you go up to the counter and you speak with, uh, the main man behind the, uh, the counter. Uh, his name is, um, Dolly Hennel. Uh, rather, rather, uh, strong looking gentleman. Um, he's, uh, probably about 35, you would guess. Um, long flowing black hair and, uh, greets you with a warm smile and says, ah, well, this is a motley crew of fine-looking gentlemen. What can I do for you? Yes, nice to meet you, Mr. Dahlia. Can I get you to write your name down, please? So that I don't forget it. Let's see. Crap, what did I say? It's a Dolly... I honestly can't remember the last name that I said. Two seconds ago. Make another one up. Sure. Lama? <laughs> Dolly Lama. <laughs> oh, Bama, yeah. Dolly, Dolly Morton's is what we'll go with. Dolly Morton's. Well, well, Dolly, we're here to drop off some material that. Uh, that we got What's from her our name? friends uh, in in Fandolin, uh from the Lion Shield Coster. I believe you're awaiting a shipment from Lenine Greywin. Ah, yes. Uh, he had uh, yeah. sent word a few days ago that you all would be coming. You made good time here. Yeah, we booked it as fast as we could and passed out at one in the morning or something like that. Uh, we got here this morning. We are attacked twice on the way. Yeah, goblins. Oh. A lot of goblins. I'm not saying we should get an extra bonus, but we should get extra bonus. Well, absolutely. Um, and he would uh, he would give you 150 gold um, to split amongst okay. amongst uh, all all four or five of you. Whether you oh, want to give Sildar uh, some is up to you guys. I'm always an advocate. He's a slave, otherwise, right? So <laughs> yeah, he gets to share. Yeah, all right. we all get so we thirty each. Thirty gold each, yeah. yeah. For thirty each. Yeah. Well, the original I... plan was twenty gold each when you had it here, but for the extra speed that you got it here and the extra, um, and the extra trouble on the road, I'm happy to give uh, give you all a little extra coin to line your pockets and, and we encourage you to continue to do this good work. What's thirty two divided by us? Well, five point. All right. Or we can leave the 32 in there for now. Well, it'd be six gold for each of you and then two extra. Well, five, there's five of us, though, now. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, 30, 30 divided by five is six. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you have two extra. Uh, we just leave that in there for now. Sure. Let's give it to Siljar, of course. Siljar. But then uh, you guys okay. said you also wanted to sell off all the... Uh, yes. Yep, the... I am ready when you are. Okay, what do you got? Um, well, Mr. Dolly, if you don't mind if I use your first name. Um, Absolutely. We've got a lot of equipment on the cart that we got from the, uh, the battles before and during our travels. Are you willing to buy that from us as well? Uh, certainly all of it. It's, uh, it's a bit of a time of war currently, so, uh. The uh, the sa the sales and uh, especially the it's definitely a selling market right now. So we're buying all we can get. Well, then I will cut you some good deals today, sir. Let's start from the top with our finest equipment. Four 
freshly repaired, magically, might I add, chainmail armor sets. Uh, he would buy those for 50 gold each. Okay, we went from 2 gold to 202 gold with one cell. All right, um, the matching, of course, four long swords and four long bows that the knight, I imagine, buying that would need. Uh, 10 gold for each long sword and 30 gold for each long bow. Damn. Okay. Yeah, they're a little extra desperate for all of this stuff, so you get a little extra. Oh man, I said I'd cut him a deal. Here he is cutting me a deal. Um, Still a good deal for him, but um, we have arrows, but we also need arrows. Um, are you super low on arrows? I imagine you get as many as you want. Yes, yeah, so we'll take anything and everything that you can sell currently. Um, how about we keep 40 arrows, guys, and sell the 60 so that Tim doesn't have to buy any more anytime soon? Okay, we'll sell him 60 arrows. Okay, so um, that would be uh, three gold. Haha! -ha. Balancing out our two into a five to be evenly split. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have. Completely accidental, I assure you. We have. Tim realizes that he doesn't have to fletch his own arrows for hours on end for the next like month and is super hyped about this. You're really, <laughs> really optimistic with the 40 arrows lasting a whole month, seeing as we get almost murdered daily. Yeah, well, you know, all of the enemies <laughs> will have arrows too, so it should, should even True. out. You're being optimistic about how many that aren't going to miss and that I can just retreat. True. <laughs> um, 13 short bows? Uh, 15 gold for each of those. Uh, yes. I mean, calculate that. Yep. How much gold? 15? Yep, 15 each. That's 195. Plus the 365. Ah, uh, yes. Or yeah, the more encounters you guys have on the road, the more money you make. All right. Um, 13 scimitars. Unless anyone wants a scimitar, I don't think so. I'll have 15 gold for each of those. Okay. More problems, Oop. more money. Okay. Um, and then the last thing that we have to sell uh, to you as a group, sir, is 17 shields. Uh, those would be 10 gold apiece. Okay. Which puts us at 925 gold. Phew in this all right um i think that's everything we have 13 damaged leather armors but i think we're going to end up selling those after we repair them i imagine that saves time and money for other non-magical users as well indeed um i could probably offer you uh a little more than I might for damaged armor. Uh, we do have, we do have people here locally who can fix them, so it's not as much of a burden for us as it would be in smaller places like Vandalin. But um, for the for the leather for damaged leather armor, I could probably offer you five gold piece. And how much would we get if we repaired it for you? Same quality as the chain. Probably there. about. Uh, I'd probably do about eight gold each up to you guys let's just sell them now yeah we'll sell them now all right 13 damaged leather armors heading your way as well you drive a hard bargain sir well it's interesting there's some kind of uh seems as though there's some kind of demon incursion going on in the in the southern part of the the sword coast currently i don't I don't have all the details, but uh, 
We have a we have a local teleporting circle that allows us to send large amounts of arms, armaments, and other supplies directly to Waterdeep, and they're currently asking for everything they can and paying top dollar for it. So, can uh, humans and stuff go through that portal? Theoretically, they could, uh, but it's a pretty costly fee to use it, unless you have some sort of local connection to the to the local government. I was just curious. I've never heard of a magic like that in a long time, you know. That's how I ended up here, I guess, was some kind of portal or something hmm. from my home plane. Um, I was just curious if it could send me back. Where's this incursion taking place? You know, uh, I haven't gotten all of the details. It, it would It would appear as though there is... They said that there was one southern city that is being targeted uh, just east of Waterdeep, but um, I I don't I don't have all of the details from down in that area. All I know is that there's some some sort of demon incursion going on, and there a lot of people are not quite sure what to do about it. But the armies are mobilizing, and they're apparently doing the best they can to try to fight them off. Well, I'm sure that's a whole world away from us, anyways. So. We shouldn't have to worry about it anytime soon. I would certainly hope not. If if uh, such issues get this far north, then by then the the entire Sword Coast would be forfeit. Yeah. Oh. That's so. Is there someone we can talk to to encourage them to maybe put out additional patrols on the road, given our, you know, <laughs> large number of encounters? Well, uh, you would want to report such issues to the uh, to the local uh, town's guard. Um, they, they would be the ones who may be able to deploy some sort of uh, some sort of band to attempt to take those down. But to be honest, uh, most likely what they would do is they would just offer bounties to local. Um, local adventurers much like yourselves all right you each get 198 gold by the way in my experience most of the town guard it will will stay within the town and those traveling on the road are kind of on their own that, that's why uh that's why escort services like yourselves are so popular nowadays because anyone traveling knows that it comes with a bit of danger and it helps to have a bit of muscle to go along with that danger did he just call us an escort service? <laughs> you guys have do you guys carry any magical items here? Uh we only we only handle basic arms and armaments, but uh there are there are a few different places within the I mean this is a very, very large city. Uh if you would like to find uh magic vendors, there 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 will be a few options for you. And he would he would give you uh, the name of a few different shops, including the one that uh, is helmed by the original tradesman that you had met on the road. Tabor Emporium Magic yes. Item Shop. Oh yeah, I already have that written down. The Magic yeah. Item Emporium. Yep. Yeah. Yes, that one is particularly eccentric. Uh, he he would have probably the most random groups of things, um, whereas the other the others take commissions to have stuff made specifically that you're looking for um and and stock more general uh reasonable magic goods that uh are, are just mainly made made for combat but uh i find that the the magic emporium tempts uh, t tends to have more uh utility magic items more random stuff that's just found throughout the world hmm. Well, hopefully he sells it cheaper, too. Well, we can certainly hope. To the Emporium, my friends. Yes, we'll head to the, yep, to the Magic Emporium. Yeah. Have okay. a great day, Mr. Mortans. You as well. Thank you very much for your service and, and for your business. I appreciate it. All right, so you guys uh, head your way on down to the uh, Magical Emporium. 
Uh, it would appear as though the gentleman you had met on the road is not there. Um, but it is still being, the shop is still being ran by, um, by his wards and pages. Um, you do speak to, uh, one, uh, you, you get, you get essentially helped by one, um, nice young lady. You would figure she's probably in her early twenties. Uh, she introduces herself as Marie. Is there anything in particular that you're looking for? Why, yes, Marie. We are looking for healing potions and other ah. various uh, adventuring goods. And if you have magical weapons, if possible. Uh, yeah, we have a few magical weapons. Uh, are there any? Are there any in particular that you're looking for? Do you have anything in the two hundred gold range? Take a look. Or right, up to the five hundred for me. Two hundred yeah. to five hundred. Not all of us have invested so heavily in ladders. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> well, the we ladder... might need them when we need to climb up the castle. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh. I was about There's to a say, pyramid you... scheme joke here somewhere. I, I, you, you beat me to it by about half a second. Not not only that, but we also skipped a goblin encounter in that cave using the ladder <laughs> because there was a goblin encounter up the ladders they already had. Sam, I already forgot that guy's name who was such a great adventurer who went with us. Um, so yeah, Ooh, they... You gotta fill me in around the campfire because... They have in stock um, uh, any plus one weapon that that you could want um for uh 400 gold is is their selling price for uncommon magic items generally okay. um and plus one armor uh, same, same with a plus one shield would be 400 um plus one armor however is considered a rare item that they um they do have one set of plus one armor for every different kind of set. They try and keep that stocked. Um, but uh, those go for... Um, looks like uh, 1,200. How about any other... Uh, you know, just other miscellaneous kinds of magic items? Sure, we have we have uh, quite a selection of, of magic items here. Is there anything in particular that you're looking for? Any kind of what like what kind of what kind of things can I help you with? Any rings, necklaces, jewelry in the two hundred gold robe? Room? A robe I, even? I look at Harry, robe. Uh, oh, a robe <laughs> even? Yeah. I actually meant to buy a robe. Um from a man who was coming here uh, about a week ago. Uh, oh, you mean like a cloak? Yeah, that rings even more of a bell. I think the one I was trying to buy was the cloak of billowing. Ah, yes. Yes, uh, he did bring that in. Um, that's, that's, uh, that's a pretty common uh, magic item that uh, I imagine we could sell to you for uh, 30 to 40 gold. We'll say 30 gold. Now that's a great price, but do you have any cloaks that do a little more? Uh, more than just simply billowing. Um, well, uh, for the cheaper cloaks, um, we do have a cloak of elven kind. Um, and that one is uh, 350 gold. Is it only for elves? No, anyone can use it. It just, uh, it, it, it helps keep you a little bit uh, harder to see and harder to track. Mm. It makes you more sneaky. Dang, that would be really nice. Can I put that on, like, back order? To make, like, put a down payment on it? Sure, yeah. If, if you were to pay half up front, then we could hold it for uh, one month's time. And uh, if you if you don't purchase, if you don't come back with the other half within that month's time, then we'll put it back on the shelf. 
Uh, we'll still hold your gold for you. you. You can get a full refund if it gets sold to someone else. But uh, yes, if you were to uh, put down half of the gold now, we would hold it for one month. I think I'll do that unless someone else wants it. Uh, uh, we do also have a rare, a, a bit of a rarer cloak, um, but this one's particularly expensive. It's a, it's a cloak of displacement, uh, but it costs um, about five thousand. Oh wow! That's definitely but, above our pay range. Yes, it is. I don't uh, think we it have. It is quite quite a special item, though. I don't think we but, have that between us. No. No. How about no, like? Sorry, go for it. Okay, you go ahead, old. I was like, how about some like wand of magic missiles or some or oh, yes, we have uh several different kinds of wands. Um go ahead and uh, roll a D twenty. I like lean into Ezra while old Jar is talking to Marie. I'm like, so how much is half of the number she said? <laughs> 175. Thanks. I can spot you it if you want to pay me back later or something, if you're really wanting to get that. Do you mean the whole price? Well, how much do you have? 200, you said? I have 230 gold, but I was hoping to buy another healing potion as well. How many do we have? I have one healing potion. And. But yes, they do have a wand of magic missiles, um, and they would be willing to sell it for uh, three hundred gold. Three hundred okay. gold. That's not bad in a bind. Not at all. How many? I mean, does it have a certain number of charges? How does that? Well, you guys can actually just look up in the compendium. Okay. Wand of magic missiles, and I think it'll tell you. Yeah, you have to actually click on it, but then that will launch. Having charges, and then you can fire magic missile. Yeah, so it takes one charge. You can expend one to three charges. If you expend a, a one charge, it does a level one spell. Two charges does a level two, and three does a level three. And it, it gains 1d6 charges at dawn, and if you expend the last charge, you roll a d20. On a one, the wand crumbles to ashes, destroyed. <laughs> That's not bad. It's it's pretty good. Especially because that move doesn't miss. Yeah. Unless yeah, someone shields it. And it regains oh, the charges. It. It's more like everybody's tired, everybody ran out of magic. It's like your last. Or yeah. enemies far away, you know, you kind of just. Yeah, we got a dude who's massive yeah. melee, but now he can shoot. We also Three have this damage. Uh, wand of the war mage. Uh, it's just a basic one, plus one. But we have uh, we have one of those for four hundred. Wand of the war mage. Mm -hmm. I think it increases the bonus on either the attack or the hit. Yep. yep. Or both, maybe even. Oh, that's good for mages. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps invest button. I will get that in the future. I no doubt. Well, I'll take the shield, uh, the shield plus one. Okay. I need like an extra armor class. So yeah, the shield plus one. Uh, what did we say? Three hundred gold. Four hundred gold. Four hundred. It was four hundred. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, four hundred gold for that. And right. Marie, it looks like my friend. Ezra here has offered to pay for half of that cloak now, and I'll just pay him back later, which makes a lot more sense uh, to me than putting a down payment down here. So we'll just take that now. Absolutely. And then um, I was willing, I was trying to look at a healing potion, perhaps. Oh, yes. We, uh, we have um, every kind of healing potion. Uh, the basics we sell for 50 gold. Um, I'll I'll take one of those unless we could possibly get a deal on bulk. If anyone else wants to buy them, I would like to buy a, a couple of them too. 
So did you we want the, the basic one? healing potions or the greater healing potions? Uh, we also have um, superior healing and supreme healing. The, uh, I have a greater healing already. Okay. And I can only afford the minor one. Well, wait, how much is the minor? How much is the great? Or what's the next one after that? Uh, the, the next one, the, the next strongest one is the greater healing potion. Those go for okay. 150. Uh, but if you buy multiple of any healing potion, uh, we can give a 10 gold discount for each. Hmm. So we do give deals for both. Um, the, uh, the superiors are uh, 400. And the supreme healings are 1,200. But, uh, of course, they are quite a bit more potent. Yes. We each, I think we each already have at least one potion, right? No, we used it at the den. We used some. I have one potion of greater healing. And then in my... Uh... Oh, I've got one. In my thing, I have the other potion of green. Remember, healing. everyone except the one that was in the genie. Oh no, no, because I had a potion and two greater health potions. So that's why greater, they, you, greater one of them got used, and then everybody used their their. Oh, we bought a bunch more on our big shopping day. Yeah, and, and then we all, we all, all used it at the den. Yeah, so we have two we're all potions going of greater healing and nothing else. Well, I'll take one potion of greater healing and then one regular potion. And then I'll take a regular potion. Does that get us the discount? Yeah, so that'd be 180 for old jar and 40 gold for carry. Perfect. 80. Actually, 180, then oh, I'll just take the... Well, you know what? I'll take... I don't have that kind. Oh, I need three more gold. <laughs> Cause yeah, someone lent me that, three gold. Yep. That would be I'll fine. They, they, they'll take okay. the they'll take the one seventy seven. Yeah. Right. Good bargain. I mean, uh, after all, you did also buy the uh, the the shield, so that, that shield seems like a, a perfectly fine deal. And the cloak. Do you guys have um? And I, we didn't talk about rings. Do you guys have any rings or what? Yes, we have several different kinds of rings. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm guessing you're wanting something uh, a little bit on the uh, on the lower end. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let's see. We have a ring of warmth. Uh, we have a ring of water walking. Um, a little more on the expensive side, but we do have a ring of protection that we're selling for uh, eight hundred. Um, I won't. I'd be interested in that in the future. Uh, we have a it's ring the... of feather falling for for three hundred gold. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I'd like to. Uh, don't have a lot of money left myself, but I think I'd like to go ahead and buy. Um, so you did say you have weapons of all different kinds at a plus one level. Is that right? For four hundred. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, buy a rapier. Three hundred for the weapons. Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Can I go ahead and buy a rapier? Uh, a plus one rapier. Absolutely. And, and they, uh, oh, they could easily. Tim, are you out. gonna get a bow or something? Uh, I'm I'm all set. I think I just upgraded my bow, um, and so I've got. Uh, how much individual gold do we have at this point? It's like uh, I'm still that fifty six. I think. <laughs> oh, you uh, have you, to add one hundred and eighty eight. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, I want to make and sure then, that was not. And then the you said was it thirty for the job? Yeah. Did you add the thirty for us? Oh, okay. No, I wasn't. I, I thought I, I I misheard that. I thought that was like like total. <laughs> it's like that's not a good paying job. Okay, nice. No, I think I'm I'm good on on buying up stuff. Like once we get to a, a bigger city, I may. Um, but I'm pretty happy with my kit right now. You want a healing will... potion or something? Uh, I've got one. Y'all were really nice and, and 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 gave me one last time. So. Oh, all right. 
then you're good to go then. Yep. All right. Sildar, well, you how about you? Uh, does Sildar oh, I... have any healing potions? Can I go ahead and, uh, since I just bought a... Well, actually, no, never mind. I'll hold on to that. Uh, Sildar would, uh, would have bought one of the, the basic healing potions, yeah. Nice. <laughs> For you. Should we upgrade him? Give him some better stuff? He's our tank. He already, already gave me Talon. I mean, that's that's plenty. I All have, right. I have fairly sturdy armor, so I'm not too worried about that. I, I prefer to wield uh, a weapon two-handed rather than uh, rather than ha having a shield. So that's fair. Yeah, that's I'm, so I'm sure you'll build up enough to get some crazy magic items in the future. You seem like a capable adventurer. Well, thank you very much. Y'all aren't bad I, yourselves. Um, do you know where I could buy manacles? Do you have any magical manacles by any chance? Hmm. Well, why don't we take a look? And she kind of leads you through the shop. Um, Go ahead and roll a d20. Never know when you need to lock someone up real well. Eighteen. 18's pretty good. Uh, yes, we do have we do have a set of manacles that are uh, magical. Um, these are called the manacles of stasis. Well, that sounds pretty useful. Yes, um, if you're able to uh, shackle them on on someone, uh, it could be a bit of a struggle. You have to get close enough to actually uh, put the manacles on either their hands or their feet. Um, but then essentially it's, it's similar to, uh, the effect of casting a sleep spell. Wow. That's very useful. I imagine that's not cheap. Um, they're, they're, they're an uncommon item. Uh, they're not, they're not particularly rare or, or too special. Um, we've had them for quite a while, actually. They're, they're not a very popular uh seller i could probably especially considering all of the things you purchased today i could probably sell them to you for uh we'll say 175 gold well i've got 15 gold and a potion of water breathing and that's the best offer i can give you hmm. potion of water breathing Yeah, I'd be, I'd be happy to trade them to you for the potion of water breathing. Those uh, those we actually sell pretty commonly. There are, there are many people that go on nautical journeys that uh, right right here off the coast uh, that that will often come in and purchase those. We we can't get enough of them actually. In fact, I would be willing to give you an additional twenty gold on top of that deal if you wanted to make that trade. Um, I guess give Ezra that twenty gold. I owe him 175. Now I owe him 155. I'm getting better at my math. Um, here's your potion of water breathing. And I will take those manacles because they seem like they're going to be more useful. Okay. Well, then go ahead. And uh, what I would suggest for you to do is add the sleep spell to your list of um, spells that you have on your spell list. And if you're able to get into melee and uh and you succeed on an opposing grapple check like an, an opposing athletics or acrobatics then you do successfully clamp the manacles on and then you would um let's see are you saying that i can acrobatics to put the manacles on versus theirs or do i have to do the athletics uh, you you would do athletics or acrobatics, and the enemy would do the same. It's a contested check. Oh, okay. That makes um, sense. And then, 
Uh, I'm actually going to put that at the same as your Warlock casting one. So I think right now that's level 2. So you would actually cast the Sleep Spell at level 2, which you would roll 7d8. And, and if, uh, if the total of your roll is higher than the user's um, HP, they go unconscious for 24 hours. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that seems like a much better trade. And uh, the the shackles have a, a, a one-day usage. As in they can only be used once per day? They can only be used once per day, but if they're successful, then they render the target unconscious for 24 hours. And then the next day, if you wanted to continue, you could you know, essentially <laughs> use them to recast them to try and keep them unconscious. Okay, yeah, that might come in handy yeah all right i think we're very well prepared yes compared to when we came into town um, okay does this cloak need me to attune to it marine or do i just throw it on and it's doing its thing it is indeed an attunement item yes okay so i'll put it on anyways and it'll attune next time we take a rest. Hey. And uh, that is the Cloak of Elven. Yeah, I read it after I bought Wait, it. Can I not add before. That to... uh, I think it automatically had that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man. It's beautiful. And that is now in your owned magic items I look at peter is like wouldn't that fit you better <laughs> it is my vibe but uh no i'm gonna uh jay i may come up with some like kind of more thematically uh fitting things for my character but sure all good anything else for you guys in neverwinter before you head out i think that's it We'll just get, get the goblins, and then we'll scamper out. Okay. So, um, the cart would stay in Neverwinter. Um, but, uh, you guys can... What what pace would you like to go? I'm fascinated. And, and actually, I guess I should ask, where are you guys going? Are you wanting to go to Thunder Tree, or are you wanting to make a beeline to Cragmaw Castle? I think... I was trying to root for the castle, but also I think that my advice is poor sometimes. So <laughs> I didn't well, realize I... your buddy has been a uh, you know has, has been waiting for so long you know so uh, you know I say we we go for it. That intelligence may not last forever, or you know its utility. I take it we got some additional details regarding you know uh, you know order of magnitude in terms of numbers of. You know, uh, troops there, dispositions, any you know traps or some you know some insight. Obviously, those folks weren't uh, the the brightest and probably the most trusted. Sildar, do you know how much a uh, a shield bearer would cost? Like a monthly fee? I'm sure there's places to hire people in Neverwinter. Maybe if we're storming a castle we could get one or two more hands well it's better we don't storm it even though that is i would like to do that once <laughs> it's better we do it you know to at least try to do it stealthily so i'm true. in favor of heading towards the castle and <laughs> seeing what we got I All right, also then. want to head towards the castle. All right. Um, well, everybody decides. Could I possibly look at a hireling that knows how to use a longbow or a shield? Um. Okay. So, yeah, hirelings are interesting thing. Let me bring it up. That would be, I believe, in Tasha.
Because either someone with a shield to stand in front of me or someone with a bow that could also stand at the back with Tim. Okay, Maybe so take... mechanically, you can hire a sidekick. Um, by the way, Sildar is a sidekick, so you already have one. Oh. If you wanted, you could attempt to hire an additional sidekick. Um, you could hire one of three types of sidekicks, uh, which include um, an expert, a... Um, let's see. newbie <laughs> or beginner uh, an expert oh. which uh, is kind of similar to a rogue a spellcaster which is kind of similar to uh to a, a wizard um or a warrior which is kind of similar to a fighter sildar would be our sildar would be considered a warrior <laughs> so can we have another warrior or can we only have one of each yes uh the way it works though is the more you dilute the party um theoretically the less experience you get and sidekicks also uh sildar is kind of an exception because he feels ingratiated towards you guys so he, he doesn't ex necessarily expect a, a a take of the loot but he you know he wouldn't turn it down if you offered it to him but if you hired a hireling sidekick they would expect an even part of any uh, gold or, or uh, wealth that you've gained while you're traveling together. Oh, hell no. I was trying to pay one a salary, and that's all he gets. Yeah, no, they wouldn't do that. They would, uh, they'd be willing to join what you about, What about an unskilled an even take. hireling? What? What about an unskilled hireling? Bag carrier. Uh, I mean, you could certainly hire an assistant, but they're not going to fight. Yeah. You can sure. let the guy with the coconuts. Carrying coconuts to make Yeah, the... just, just his well, job would if, be torch bear, extra wasn't set it? of eyes. <laughs> yeah, well, his, his whole job would be extra set of eyes, carry stuff, and carry stuff. Because uh, sure. A mule? Sure, yeah. you're, you're able to find a... Um, a low-level trainee that um, is looking to eventually become a warrior, uh, but he's still in training. Um, but uh, one of the things that they do as a part of their training is to send them out on very, very low-risk um, adventures like this. So like he would be willing. Yeah. So he would be willing. Yeah. What they do, what they tell you is that he is not to engage directly in any combat unless absolutely necessary. Um, but otherwise, uh, he would be willing to come along and help you all in, uh, in, in the actual traveling in the adventure. Yeah, and I, I don't mind teaching him some sword play along the way. I'm proficient with the short sword. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and for that service, they would, they would ask for. Uh, 10 gold. Just 10 gold for the whole round trip? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll give him 10 gold for... Arun has very strict rules on paying interns. Yeah. Te well, technically, you're not paying the the kid the 10 gold. He, yeah. he is being trained uh, in Neverwinter, so it's actually the, uh, the martial school that he's going to that would loan him out for 10 gold. Does he come with supplies? Like, does he have yeah. enough food? Yeah, okay. he has his own basic armor, um, and he does have a a short sword and a and a short bow. Okay, um, so I can I can show him actually how to use his shit. Yeah, but cool. uh, but yeah, they send him with rations and all the stuff. All right, we'll teach him uh, some rules of the road, a little bit of short sword play, if you don't mind. I'm sure it's not the same style as y'all. Uh, and he will stay at the back or running away and nowhere near the combat. He should be fine. Um, what's his name? Look at that. Mateo Tris. With two R's, which is particularly weird. Not at all a typo. <laughs> Mateo. I'm just going to write Squire because that saves me time. Fire. 
All right, Mateo, um, your whole job, very important actually, it sounds mundane, I know, but your whole job is to keep your eyes peeled. And if we're traveling at nighttime, you're gonna be holding a torch for us. Um, other than that, you heard the guys in charge of you, um, no combat, definitely don't do any running in um, or ahead of us, as it uh, gets very dangerous on the road. Um, but I'm Harry. I am a bunny rabbit man. Um, and these are my friends. I'm the least adept with weapons, but I'm sure I could teach you the short sword. And maybe if you have questions for everyone else, they, uh, they might help you out. I don't know. You're my responsibility. All right, thanks. All right, guys, we got a bag carrier, a torch carrier, and an extra set of eyes, rations, um, potions. I'm good to go. Hey. All right, then we'll leave. All right. Uh, we'll we'll head. We'll take the goblins from the guards. We'll st they'll still be in rope. And then we'll head towards uh, Maca, um, Kragma Castle. So I guess we'll head uh, southeast. Or do you want to go down the road and then go this way, or you guys want to go through the plains into the Yeah, that's the, the question. Is do you want to beeline it there, or do you want to go down the high road and then turn east? This is a good learning moment, Mateo. What do you think we should do? Well, you know, from all the books that I've read, um, the, the roads tend to be a little safer than the plains. Um, but uh, but if you guys are constantly being attacked on the road recently, then it's probably not a huge difference. And time is of the essence. Okay, then it would probably be better to take a direct route there. We might be able to save half a day. I think Mateo is spot on, uh, Captain. Straight through the woods seems fine with me. We don't have a cart or anything this time. Straight through the plains and woods. We right, go. Then we'll go ahead. Then we'll go. We'll beeline it through the plains into the forest. Okay. Is everyone okay with that? I know it's not the <clears throat> safest method. Yes, although. I think we'll want to slow down a little bit once we get to the forest. Well, yeah, I mean, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're just gonna take our normal speed through the plains, and then in the forest we might sneak. Okay. Good deal. Okay. Well. All right. Um. Does anyone have anything they want to unload onto Mateo? Don't get yourself killed. I meant uh, items. But that is very good advice. <laughs> All right, so uh, making a beeline there, you're able to make it uh, to where you're you're just about a mile out from the uh, forest. You can kind of see the trees starting to form at the end of the first day. It is an uneventful first day. No, uh, nothing bothers you. You do have a couple of opportunities uh, to hunt in the plains if you guys would like throughout the day, um, especially going at a normal pace. But uh, uh, that's up stuff. to you guys if you want to take the time to do that. Um, we have rations. We have enough rations, right? We do have rations, but I did say that we would help Mateo learn, and it looks like he has a short bow. I say we just let him take a take a pot shot at the closest animal we go by, and maybe he hits it, you know? Sure. Okay. I don't have fun. I don't have high hopes, but like you gotta miss before you can hit, right guys? Like Well, I, I guess know. yes. If you want if uh I guess I guess <laughs> I that's fine. I use the bow actually, so I don't know. Wait, <laughs> really? Uh no, he misses it pretty badly. <gasps> no skin off. Little, little bunny, a little a little well, let's see, first of all, what did he find? Uh, yeah, so he found a little bunny rabbit as you guys were moving along, and you encouraged him to go see if he could hunt it. 
and his shot just goes like a mile wide. It's like it's in the same general direction, but other than that, he just completely whiffed. So I look at Tim. Uh, no, I look at Peter and I tell Peter, I think you should teach him how to use the bow properly. City folk. This may take a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, just give him the tips you can here and there. You don't have to train him top to bottom or anything. What do you think he did wrong there? Well, son, uh, yeah, you look like you're all hat and no cattle. So let me, uh, you know, and so I spend the next, like, 15 minutes or something, you know, I mean, it's really all about how you use your arms and, like, and, uh, like, your your form is really, really key. And he's all kind of slumped over. I mean, he's he's maybe seen people hold it, but most of the folks in the city probably use crossbows. I mean, it's kind of makes more sense. Um, like, using a, a, using a bow is actually, like, complicated and requires time. So I kind of work him through, like, a, a form various forms and things like that and try to help him improve um i'm, I'm being kind of grumpy but i'm actually trying to run him through uh like an actual you know Fresh accelerated course. course yeah okay so um you actually would would have to take about an hour to do that but you can do that during like one of your just you know regular rests when you guys sit down to you know maybe eat lunch and uh take, take just a a little break from the the Pace yeah. that you're going, and yeah, I um, so go ahead and go me. ahead and roll a um uh roll just a roll just an attack roll with your bow, and we'll add that to his intelligence. DC is twenty five. Yeah, so you get uh, he gets one successful day of training out of that, which gains him a d. Uh, go ahead and roll a d ten. That's how much experience he gains. Fuck yeah. Hey! Oh, I mean, me, I'm kind of grumpy. You know, I'm pretending to be grumpy, but I've actually done this before. I mean, my background is is soldier, and, you know, I've, like, been with, <laughs> worked with my own people and things like that. Like, you know, I have, he is not the first boot, you know, I've, I've dealt with. And, um, you know, I'm, I actually am trying to take him under my wing a little bit. You know, not being over the top. I mean, he's, he is not my responsibility, but at the same time, I also, you know, trying to show him the ropes. And because he's not your responsibility, I pay you one gold for every successful day of training. So you could have one. Hell gold. yeah. All right. This is, this is, you know what? <laughs> I'm holding on to this one special. So <laughs> I, I subtracted one gold for you. All it's, right. I just added I really one appreciate in. appreciate that. Um, I can teach him some things, but clearly not that. And I, it, I want you to keep that up, and maybe we can make yeah, this squire is, into a real adventure. Is there, you know, like, you know, I would, after he kind of gets the basics down, isn't, you know, like, knows how to string the bow and, like, isn't going to, like, snap it and, like, you know, like, you know, take his nose off, um, you know, I'd really focus on helping him learn how to move tactically and also just, you know, get the hell down. Like, you know, don't stand up. Like basically, we want him, we want him to drop flat. We want him to go prone every you know if we get ambushed, right? Because he's not sure. supposed to be shooting. Okay. Yeah, that's absolutely possible. We teach him the form, and then we teach him not to use it anytime soon. Well, oh yeah, like hunting is one thing, and then like you know, <laughs> coming under fire is a little different. I agree. That is great great training that I could not have produced. I appreciate that, Tim. Okay. So, um, uh, so it starts to get late. Um, like I said, just about, as you guys are just about an hour away uh, from the forest, uh, the sun starts to go down. Um, so the question now is, do you guys want to make camp here, or do you want to push on towards Cragmont Castle throughout the, the evening. You would assume you're still about a day's travel away. Well, based on what the goblins are telling you. We don't want to I... go into a forest in the middle of the night. It's never yeah. a good idea. Um, I think that's a good idea. And we can actually set up a full proper camp here. Because this will be the first time we've been a day out. And I didn't need to put something into my storage. Um... 
So I say let's let's set up camp here, guys, and I will grab us uh, tents and stuff real fast. And uh, sounds good to me. I mean, real fast is relative, but so All may right. I go look for some rations. You know, I may take the guy with me. I actually uh, have some traps for you to set up, um, if you don't mind. I wouldn't um, mind. I know how to. Hunt. I know. I know a little bit about hunting. So I go awesome. into my thing. I carry out two tents, four bed rolls, and then a tiny, small, or a tiny and a medium trap. I'll take I'll take both the tiny and the medium trap, and I have my own hunting trap, so I'll set those up for. All right, well, go ahead and make three survival checks then. Three, one for each trap you set out. And then you can take him hunting with you, um, but I'm responsible for him, so I'm going to follow you too. Ooh, got better that'll... each one. I don't hmm. know if that'll fuck up your shots or whatnot, but I, I got to go with him. All right. Uh, so yeah, you set out the traps, and then um, we'll see based on how well you set out the traps uh, what, if anything, you're able to catch. And uh, what else is everyone else doing? Um, he said he was gonna take. Uh... Mateo. Thank you. He said he was gonna take Mateo shooting, or trying to shoot something. I think. Okay. Um. So if you want to do some hunting. Then uh, I'll start by having you roll a d20. All right, I'll stay out of your way back here, Tim. I'm just watching. Let's see. Let's see what you find. A 14. It's pretty good. I tell him, do not shoot at bears. Well, he's with you. I'm following I... y'all from behind. <laughs> oh so no, no, no! I'm just tell, I'm instructing Mateo because I realize he he's kind of a city boy, and so um, I'm I'm telling him like you know watch for snakes. If you see a little baby bear, do not try to hug do not try to hug it. You know, just kind of like one on one shit. So you find um, you find a, a medium size. Um, what would be considered a medium-sized creature, but actually a fairly large buck um, you guys are able to approach from downwind. And you see an opportunity um, that if you would like, uh, you can you can attempt to um, either capture or kill it. Uh, it's typically, a hard, you would know uh, in your time of hunting, it, it is typically harder to catch something like that um but if you wanted you could attempt to just do a kill shot uh but you would also notice this buck does have some pretty it's pretty large and it is male um it has a pretty big set of antlers so you do run the risk of it attempting to attack you if you fail in your attempt to kill it um, so Tim, so basically it comes back. down it comes down to one roll um and uh, you can you can roll with either survival or with stealth, and if you have proficiency, then you roll with advantage. So, um, just just a thought here, you know, because you know, I'm really I'm, you know I feel like I'm kind of mentoring Mateo, um, and I'd want to kind of uh, you know give him you know this this is a you know pretty rare chance. We we are good on food, but what I'll do is I'd like to let him take a shot. I'll be I'll back him up and be ready to 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 do a follow on. But I want him to to try and take the first shot. Would that be okay? Sure. So and if um, it's the survival survival role, could I actually give guidance to Mateo? Sure. Okay. Um, I just say, I'm put a hand on his shoulder. Good luck, Mateo. Believe in yourself. Stay calm and steady. Tim's teaching you more important stuff, I'm sure. But you got this. But for now, we're sticking with. Commoner, but we will make a Mateo character sheet once I have a little time. <laughs> once he doesn't die in one week's time. <laughs> Pretty much. But yep. for now, I'm going to keep using the commoner sheet. 
Um, I, so, I didn't yeah, bother to think about it. He's going to make a survival, so that's a wisdom. And then what is guidance? Plus 1d4? Yeah, a d4. Oh, so the DC guy. for a medium-sized creature to kill is... Uh, the DC is 20. So it's actually kind of tough. He uh, got a plus 4, so... Unless he was supposed to roll the guidance. <laughs> nope. Uh, the shot... The shot uh, is close, actually. You can tell his, his training... Um, he, he did learn a little bit how to do the bow, but um, whether it's either a little further away or he's just a little nervous, it um, it goes it goes a little above the buck, and but it does get close enough to get his attention, and the buck starts to charge at Mateo. So I, I, I pop up immediately, and I lose an arrow that I had ready, because I, I knew that this was a chance, but um, so I'm going to go ahead and roll. Make a survival check with advantage. Uh, you do you do hit the creature, however, uh, it, it's not quite enough to stop it. Um, so it does actually charge, and it does strike Mateo with its horns. Um, Could I just dive in front of Mateo? No. Well, no. I mean, like, wouldn't it come for me? Because I'm like, I've I've made myself the biggest target. Um, I I've deliberately stood up and like out of you know, and then kind of whistled a little bit, and then just like because like you you always want it to like look at you. Or like, and then, and then launched my arrow. Uh, unfortunately, it went after the first one that attacked it, um, and okay. you did hit it as it was charging, but you just didn't hit it quite on the nose enough to stop its charge. And Mateo actually takes four damage, which is the exact amount of health that he has. Um, he doesn't <laughs> die instantly, but he does get knocked unconscious. All right, I. So we need to take care of this buck because otherwise it's gonna. Well, the buck um, actually then runs, like it charges and then runs away. I don't get another shot. Feed him this potion of healing. Uh, I would say that you can go ahead and make one more survival check, but this one's gonna be a straight roll. Uh, you you plant another another arrow in its backside and it is bleeding, uh, but it does race away. It's got a pretty. Um, it's got a pretty swift running speed, and it is able to make it away before you're able to take it down. If I've got a medical kit. If you to track that, you can. I'm just going to feed him a potion of healing. I don't, Wait, I don't are you even there? Healing. Wait, yeah, Harry, are you even yeah, there? Harry's there. Harry was oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I was... I just give him the... The healing kit right The healing there. kit would be enough to stabilize him. You, you wouldn't have to give him uh, a potion. Stabilize him and get rid of the fucking wound as soon as possible <laughs> are definitely factoring into my mind when I feed him this healing potion. Alright, sure. Roll 2d4 like, plus 2. I'm like, shit. That's not... That's nowhere close to what I agreed to <laughs> on the way out here. Oh. Oh. It's okay. We've got you. We've got you, Mateo. Did, did I kill it? Yes. Yeah, you, you hit it, buddy. It, 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 it bled out while it was running away, but you nailed it, and it, it charged straight through you, and you took it like a champ. Oh. You're perfectly fine. Don't pay. Well, he's recovering. Can I, blood. can I, can I actually go and track it and see if I can get the carcass? I mean, because I feel like this guy. I feel like this kid deserves the horns. Sure. Uh, make a survival check to see if you can track it. And it's running through. Mess with the buck, you get the horn. Yeah, you find it pretty quickly. It uh, it actually, um, your arrows were enough to fell it. It, it bled out uh, probably about 200 feet um, towards the east. It almost made it back into, it, it started to make it back towards the forest, but didn't make it too far uh, before it succumbed to your to your arrows. I'm going to, you know, begin, um, you know, obviously I'm going to make sure that the kid's, you know, okay. And, you know, maybe um, uh, help him uh, get back yeah, to camp. Okay. But I'm going to start, I'm going to start processing the, um, start processing the deer and, and, you know, make sure I bring back the, the horns. And so that when he wakes up, he sees this kind of, you know, the, the, the antlers there are sitting next to his, uh, his uh, bedroll. All right. So yeah. I roll 40, 12. Can I just deceive him into thinking he killed it or himself? Or sure. is he already on that path? 
Make a deception check. Shit, I should have guided that. So, so you can say you have um, three gold worth of uh, deer meat. Damn. And um, you also get a... You can also harvest a pelt that is worth uh, four gold. And then, yes, you can also harvest the horns. All right, Mateo. Um, we're going back to camp. I think Tim chased after your deer. Um, that's enough for us for today. Um, we got to start a fire for him because once he gets that deer that you killed um, back here, I'm sure he'll be able to show you how to cook it. Awesome. And you can tell that he, he is now physically capable. Like he's able to get, as soon as he drank that, as soon as you had that, gave him that potion, he was able to just get right back up. Uh, but you can tell he is a little exhausted from the whole ordeal, but he looks, he, he's young. He'll be fine. This gets yeah. probably, probably, by the way, like we're talking like uh, 14, like he's, he's, he's a young kid. You can tell that he'll probably grow into a capable warrior, but he's just, he's too young to really be anything other than, you know, observant at the moment. He's not, he's not at all capable. Is he a human? Uh, yes. Yeah. Human. Okay. Uh, but I'd you like can also to... tell he's really excited. Like, uh, he's very enthusiastic and he, he, like, you guys are not, you guys are not forcing him to do this against his will. He's very interested in participating in all of this with you guys. In fact, you guys might actually have to prevent him from getting too involved is the feeling you're starting to get. Uh oh. Good thing I'm a backliner. And so is <laughs> Tim. Me and Tim are going to have to put a stop to his shenanigans. All right. So you guys are able to uh, camp out for the night. Um, I go ahead and cast uh, mage armor on myself before I go to sleep. Sure. Always a good idea in the out in the world. Um, um, Bulljar, I'm going to have you roll a d20. See how your nightly... Uh, your nightly encounter goes Hunt. here. Oh, nightly encounter. Or lack thereof, I should say. Yeah, so I'll save you guys the perception rolls. You uh you do keep you do keep an eye out, but um the night does go by uh without any issue. And I think with that we're just past the two hour mark, so we'll go ahead and take a quick uh five minute break. Everybody uh take a few to use the restroom, grab something, grab a drink. We'll come back with your pursuit of Pragma Castle in just a couple of minutes. It's Inslee. You're telling stories. <laughs> You've had plenty. Uh huh. Still hungry? Uh huh. I appreciate you uh, letting me get the squire um, yeah of course every other dm has always told me that that's going to be too much work for them and that they don't want me to do stuff like that this is dnd you should be able to do whatever you want that is so actually i was playing world of warcraft when burning crusade and lich king were out i was like nine or ten and i grew up through cataclysm and mists of pandaria in like middle school high school type of shit and i actually my first D, &D encounter was because i had always been playing world of warcraft with these fixed abilities on characters that should have the control of the fucking elements and shit sure. under their command so that's actually why D, &D is because i was like i'm tired of being a mage and only being able to attack things like, why can't I use my ice nova or my ice block to, like, freeze water? Like, why right. can't I do that shit? So that's what got me into D&D. &D. Unfortunately, we didn't have anyone else into it. So me and my buddy made a bunch of one-offs for each other to learn the rules for about two years straight. Nice. They're all pretty shitty, mostly combat-based. 
and it was 3.5. So we had to, <laughs> when we got in high school and found more people, we had to relearn everything on 5e. It's funny too, if anyone's still here. I got the squire because I couldn't afford a mule. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I couldn't Fair afford enough. I couldn't afford even the carrying dog according to the book price. And I was like, darn, the old squire rules were like pretty cheap, but honestly, I like a squire that can learn better. And the old unskilled hirelings, like you can't even train them. Yeah, so Mateo is considered right now a level zero character, which is, it has a lot of the same stats as a commoner, but uh, what I'm what I'm going to rule is that he would need to gain at least 50 XP in order to uh, get to the point where he would be considered a level one. And he probably gets reduced XP for not being a part of the combat. So oh no, if he's not part of the combat, he doesn't get any experience. Yeah, um, exactly. I would say maybe he gets 10 experience for the entire journey of just traveling there and back. And that roll, that D10 roll, was for his first day of training. So he got 10 from that first oh, day with true. Peter. So that's that's a good part of it. Like, it was a really good day of training. But it's tough to train. You gotta get... Uh, the way I rule that is you make a check in whatever, you know, whatever you're trying to train him to do. So, like training him to do a bow you would do the longbow attack essentially as your part of that role and then he makes an intelligence role to see how well he learns that's crazy actually so if you um, get a natural 20 you get five days worth of training can i train him in a skill as well well like you can yeah or something sure but you can only do one training per day that yeah you're yeah. I was trying to figure out if there's anything I can train him to do because I probably can't teach him magic because I'm a warlock so it's not even really how my magic works but I could teach him perception or something <laughs> hey kid have you ever talked to like an eldritch being <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, got any eldritch beings in your neighborhood ever been in a turkish prison ever had a genie murder your entire fucking litter just to <laughs> control you in the future no all right uh well, on different avenue it's like my parents told me about the gods this sounds different <laughs> yes oh. genies are more physical versions of gods that hate us and are greedy no, I, I forget about the dragons. They'll oh, man. eat you alive. Well, I actually don't know anything about genies, though. I'm gonna teach the. I'm gonna teach this kid to be afraid and hate dragons. Let's all let, let's all pick something we want to teach him. If we're trying to teach him, I'm gonna teach him. Uh, an ability that I'm trained in because I imagine I can't teach him something that I'm not trained in. Um, 
I have investigation, and I have deception. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna teach him deception. Dragons, dragon, Dra dragons. <laughs> Make him a token. Why not? Yeah, I might as well, right. if we're going to try to avoid him dying. Damn. I can't cast mage armor on him either. That's unfortunate. What kind of armor does he wear? Leather. Nice. All right. He's an 11 armor class. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's better than 10. Oh, Can no. I cast? No, no, no. It, it is 12. It's 12. Yeah, he's got a negative one dexterity. No, no. Leather gives 11 plus dex, and his dex score is, is plus one. Okay, okay. That makes sense. I thought you were saying the leather was 12, and that his armor class was 11. I was like, nice. <laughs> um, can I ask Mateo like, what he thinks his strengths and weaknesses are as a person? Well, uh, I've got pretty good stamina. Um, I'm not very strong, but I, I tend to be, I, I tend to notice stuff well, and, um, I, I'm a little, yeah, I, I, I usually move pretty quiet. Okay. I actually, um, am well-trained in how to move quietly, if that's something you are interested in learning how to hone. I can't help you really with your bow skills at all or your survival skills like that um, but we'll give it a try um, in the forest actually tomorrow or later today if we've woken up already um, we'll work on your stealth skills um, Sildar how long have you been an adventurer again if you don't mind me asking Do we have everybody back, by the way? Uh, uh, Sildar, uh, Sildar would mention that he he's a he's a veteran. Um, I'm not I'm not even back myself. That's why I was going with <laughs> a random RP. Yeah, he's uh, uh, he's been in the adventuring gig for about twenty years. He's he's start, he said he's uh, starting to get over the hump as far as uh, his adventuring career goes. I've got probably a good. Uh, Maybe another good decade in me before I need to start thinking about retiring. Well, if you don't mind, if you see any, uh, if you see us trying to train him, do you have any advice for us? I'm sure you've trained an adventure or two before. Honestly, just, uh, at, at his point, the best thing for him to do is just sit back and watch. Any, any, anything that he's able to see you all do is going to be a good opportunity for him to learn but to be honest he's too much of a liability to be involved in anything really well no that's not what i meant i just meant like training him in in ways outside of combat like uh like we were showing him some bow forms sure uh, yesterday yeah, that's good. i'm gonna teach him how to um place his feet better uh, to later today, tomorrow, um, through the woods, um, to make less noise. Just seems, stuff like that. Seems like good training. Something that a young lad should learn at a at about his age is how to how to crack, how to um, how to move stealthily. Yeah, and he said something about he's been reading a bunch of books, and that's why he made that educated decision of which direction he thinks we should go. Um, is it normal for books to tell you things like that? Yes. Uh, one, one of the big things that they do in a lot of those, um, in a lot of those academies um, is that, that they do, they, they have, they have a lot of literature on, uh, on adventuring. Uh, many adventurers will write books about their experiences and their, advice so i would imagine at this stage most of his experience and knowledge of how to be an adventurer comes from 
books, but unfortunately you can only learn so much from that. It's a, it's no, it's a poor substitute for real world experience. He's gonna be one of wow. these like total nap nerds where like because he had like extensive experience, you know, studying it, he like knows the area immediately around his city like really well because like, you know, book learning is mostly what he's 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 had right so far. Wow, I've only read language books before. My family was very intent to get me uh, out of the plane as fast as possible. We rabbits. So... Or, yeah, um, they taught me common and they kicked me out basically. I didn't know uh, books were used for other things such as that. I heard of charters or like lists of people and items before, but a book containing a bunch of knowledge on a subject is foreign to me. Do you know how to read common? Yeah. Well, we'll have to get you some books the next time we're in the city. I also know how to read and write Elvish, Celestial, and Sylvan. But, um... That's actually pretty rare. Most, uh... Most, most common folk around th th these parts can only read, uh... One language if they're lucky. Oh. Well... All right, is everyone ready to go? I, I'm just kind of stunned still about these books, but yes, I'm ready. we're ready. All right. Well, let's get heading on then. So, as you guys travel, uh, you said you wanted to go stealthily. Yes, so when we hit yes. the forest. Okay, so that means you guys can go about uh, sixteen miles in one day. So around the eight mile mark. Uh, you guys have not quite reached Kragma Castle yet. Um, the the goblin say that it's uh, it's a little ways into the forest, um, but they would say you're uh, from where you go. You're probably about halfway there, and at your current pace, uh, they think you might get there towards the end of the day. Maybe it maybe as it starts to become night. Um, but I will have. Uh, let's go ahead and have Ezra roll a d20 for us to see how our days travel through the woods goes. Oh, good. Hmm. That looks like a great number for us to not die to. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> While we're pitter pattering through these woods, I'm actually not super well versed on self like I told him I was. Um, I pretty much only know how to be quiet but know nothing about like positioning or like holding still or breaking up the fucking body line so that you're sure. less recognized. Nothing like that. So I, I only basically show them the footworks and nothing about like directions or line of sight or anything like that. All right, well, go ahead and roll a stealth check and we'll see how you do in training. All right. And I believe I get advantage on stealth checks now. Yeah, with your cloak. That's true. So I get a 21. Whew. And that is 25. So that, that is a successful training day. So go ahead and... Oh, and I rolled Sildar's, but that's fine. I think he has the same bonus. No, in fact, yeah, he's one less. So yes. Wait, how did I get 25? I'm confused. He well, got a 25? you had 21, and his intelligence score was 4. So you add the oh. two together. Holy shit. 25 is the DC. So now, so that's a successful day of training. Um, so go ahead and roll a d10 to see how much XP he gains. Nice. All right. Okay. We're rolling hella high on the XP, boys. All right. So do we continue on, or do you guys want to... I don't want to camp... I don't want to attack the castle at night, and I don't want to camp next to the castle at night. Is this how far we got? Yes. In the forest? Okay. I want to... Should we do it's about, it's about half of... You yeah, said it's ha so you still have half the day's travel for me. Half the oh, day's okay. travel. I want to I wanna continue until we're done, and then we still have the tents and stuff. No, but I don't want to be... I don't want to have a... 
uh, how do you call it? Any campfire going near the castle. Yeah. It's okay. I don't want. We just got Smart. tents and stuff. Either Wait, way, I, mean, I don't. I, I don't, don't want to need... camp in next to a, we don't a need enemy a campfire. castle. Old jars. I'm with old jar here. He's 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 yeah. on top of things. This is that is the correct move. If if I may suggest. You know, if unless we want to, you know, spend a lot of time to uh, reconnoiter, and, and obviously we have our little goblin friends traveling with us, you know, the optimal time to to attack would be it's uh, you know pre dawn nautical twilight, so like the crack of dawn. Um, so like you're trying to go to, to bed early, so that yes. we can hop in the morning. But we don't really know how close we are, right? Yes, we do. We know we're about half a day. Yeah, the guy would say if you continue at your current pace, uh, they think you should get there um, near, uh, maybe, maybe they, they think it's around sundown. Could be a couple hours before, could be a couple hours after. It's better to rest right now, and then we'll, we'll, we'll get up early, early morning, and then we can probably get there like mid-morning or something. Are our goblins nocturnal? No. Well, we've gotten attacked during the day, so. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, okay. they also. Then, then but here's can... the thing, they can see in the dark. We cannot. Yeah. Oh, uh, gotcha. Okay. Sildar would say, uh, "I agree. We don't want to camp out too close to Kragma. That would be uh, dangerous. Uh, the other option is we could travel most of the rest of the day, and uh, if we if we get to the castle, we could actually backtrack far enough that we feel like we're safe." If you wanted to attack just before dawn, we we probably shouldn't travel too much at night, um, but we should try to get closer to the castle if we're going to try to rest before we go to attack. Because if we travel too far at night, that could be pretty dangerous in these woods. Yeah. I also think it's a bad idea to attack after we travel as far as we can. Do we want to trek through the forest? A whole day until we get there and then attack right no when no we would morning. definitely want to rest but yeah I'd, I'd want to be about a half day out yes okay so i think all we right should go a little further okay how many hours would you like to travel well, about what time is it now and about how far away are we uh, okay, so you guys uh, would have woken up early in the morning to get going. You've traveled about half the day, so it's been about uh, six hours. So uh, you're, you're probably a, a little bit um, afternoon at this point. Mm -hmm. You think you probably have about six more hours of daylight? We'll, we'll travel four more hours, and then from there we can rest. Okay, so at a slow pace... You would go that one good. mile. Uh, you would go, let's see, uh, about one mile, about one and a half miles per hour. So, all right, so you are there, um, and you haven't quite reached the castle yet. Um, they say that it's, it's a little bit further to the south. Uh, to the southeast of where you are now. They've seen a couple of signs that they use to track, and they would actually show these to you at little nicks in the trees. Um, it, 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 you, would get the, you would get the idea that these goblins are earnestly trying to lead you there from what they're telling you. In hopes that you will let them go once you get there. Okay. I mean, then, oh, I guess we'll rest here and then. Yeah, they would say well, it's about. Uh, let's see, they would point. And they would say it's about another. Um, four to six miles in that direction. To the southeast. Harry just had an idea. Can I heat metal over time with shocking grass? Uh, if you cast Shocking Grasp into metal, it would electrocute anything with the metal. So if I had like a a metal pot filled with water, and I was repeatedly 
shocking grasp in the bottom of it, would it boil the water? I guess, yeah, theoretically. Okay, cool. I'm gonna use the two hour downtime of the rest to test that theory. Sure. It's kind of like an electric frying pan. I guess, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna rest here then? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna hunker down. All right, then, uh, Old Jar, go ahead and roll me a d20 for your uh, nightly rest. Miraculously, uh, once again, you guys are able to complete a, uh, a long rest without any issue. You guys do hear the occasional rustle, and uh, you, you do keep a uh, constant lookout for anything, but uh, nothing disturbs your rest. So you are able to take another long rest. All right. Now, uh, when when exactly are you guys wanting to leave? The morning, I guess. Yes. Early morning, like or not, or like really, like. Well, what time we want? Sun. Relative to sun up, how many oh. hours before or after? We'll leave like. Two, like what is it two hours after sunrise okay and then yeah two and then we'll walk until we see the castle i guess because okay. continuing to go stealthily uh yes okay yeah and i would actually put up um all of our tents and our sleeping rolls and the fireplace kit Thing, the cooking utensils. So it takes you about three or four hours to uh, get there. And you guys see Cragmaw Castle in the distance. Nice. So um, I'm putting you guys pretty close to where it, the building is because this is not an incredibly large map, but um, but you guys are not actually this close. Um, but yeah, you Instead guys. Five squares or like twenty squares are <laughs> pretty far. So yeah, you guys. Well, you guys can be as close or as far as you want to be, but you first see it when you're about one, about 100 yard, 100 feet away. There's a big clearing around it where the, uh, the forest has been chopped down and there's this fairly large castle there. So let me go ahead and... Is the clearing like even on all sides? Uh, yeah, it's, it, there's, about, there's about a 30 yard perimeter, uh, sorry, 30 foot perimeter around the castle that's been cleared out. Uh, but you do see that there is a little bit of vegetation starting to pop up. Like, it's not particularly well kept. Um, but but it looks like that this, this was cleared out. You, you get the impression that this was cleared out years ago. And uh, while it hasn't been particularly well maintained, uh, there hasn't quite been enough time for everything to grow back. But... Uh, so what you guys see, the, the castle consists of seven crumbling towers of different sizes and heights. Uh, the upper stories uh, are all varying states of collapse. Um, the short flight of steps in front uh, lead up to a terrace uh, in the front main entryway. And uh, past the wreckage of a pair of shuttered doors lies a shadowed hall where you don't currently see anyone. Uh, the round towers loom over the entrance hallway uh, with dark arrow slits that uh, look down towards the terrace. Hmm. So I'd like to... Uh, we've still got our goblin friends with us, right? Yes. So... At this point, they would say, okay, we, we led you here. Are you going to let us go? A couple more questions. One right. question... Are there guards around the outside of the castle? No, they don't do patrols anymore. They don't have enough people. 
we were the last mm -hmm. ones that would have been sent, so they're so they're they're probably running pretty short on people in there. How many goblins do you think there'll be? Or how many non-goblins, like bugbears or wolves? Well, there's only one bugbear, uh, just King Grawl. King Grawl. Yeah, but he's really big. Like, he's the biggest bugbear I've ever seen. Grawl. And he's got a big, nasty wolf that he named Snarl. How big do you say his, like... Would, it, would his arms fit in these manacles? No, no, those are for like a. They're, 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 well, okay. So, first, I should have told you the manacles are sized for a regular human being, but if you okay. had. But here's the cool thing is they're magical manacles, and if you had taken some time to study them, uh, or gotten the just you would have gotten the description from the person that sold them to you, they actually resize as you attempt to apply them to someone. So they are one size fits all, but that's, that's as you if you ask the goblin that question, they would say, "No, there's no way those fit. Those are those are sized for a regular human." Oh, but there's that. only one bugbear. There's his wolf. Any, I don't know, other type of humanoids. Well, there are goblins and hobgoblins in there. Um, How many? How many half goblins? There's probably like four of them left, four or five, and they can't have more than like six goblins left. Most of the, most of the rest of the goblins were sent with that group that they sent, you know, with the with us to ambush you in the road. Can I uh, guide myself for a perception check to see if he's telling the truth? Sure. Yeah. Make a uh, make an insight check. Insight. Guidance. And, uh, okay. 15. Yeah. Um, he, to the best of his knowledge, has given you all the info he's got. He's pretty desperate to uh, be compliant with you so that you'll let him go. I've got Is there one a, last question, wait. actually, but no, I. Before I that. See if Mateo knows it. Wait. Before that, I want to ask the goblin Is there, uh, you know, a a back door or a, a sneaky door that you guys go in and out from yeah there's a couple of different ways to get in um well first of all you can try to climb any of the towers to get into the little arrow slits but that's a pretty tight squeeze uh we can do it probably because we're small but uh, he looks over to old jar he's like no way no way this guy's gonna fit um uh, but for you for you humans maybe could be in the middle for you human sized folk um there's one entrance to the north that's kind of like a crumbled tower um but it's hard to get in there quietly because anytime you try to climb in that area it you know a bunch of rocks go flying and so everybody can kind of hear you but that's the one that's closest to to king grawl he's he's stationed up in the north east tower it's the one that's the least crumbly and then there's an entrance from the south, uh, but that's that's got a locked door, and there's an owl bear in the that they have chained up in the south, in the southwest, or sorry, the southeast tower. And where do they keep the prisoners? Uh, probably in King Grawl's room. He already told us the question I wanted Mateo to ask, and as it was if any of the entrances were trapped. It sounds. You would like say, "Oh yeah, there trap. there is one trap on the in the entrance hallway." They told us to avoid going in that area. There's a trap right over there. What's the trap? I don't know. They didn't tell me what it was. They just told me to not go over there. What way did they tell you to go? Uh, when we go in, we would either go up or down, because those are where our living quarters are, but we're not supposed to go through the middle of the castle. Uh, like, that... not to go through this door and go in this room. Okay. If 
then. All right, I, I give them one gold each. Well, hey, first I, I, first I untie on the. I untie the rope, so I put the rope back to my. In my backpack, and then you can come with the gold. I give him one gold each, and I say, "All right, that's so you don't just go starve to death." I guess. Or I think we're actually going to go back to the hideout. I heard there were some goblins down there that weren't following the Kragma anymore. Maybe they'll take us in. The cave hideout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually had a very nice conversation with a group of goblins there that were not, uh, they didn't like getting their heads crushed in anymore by owlbears. Seems like a good deal. Maybe if you capture any other goblins, you might send them that way too. I don't think any of them like following King Grawl or just scared of the big guy. Tell tell them no more. No more attacking people on the road. That needs to be removed from your their plans. And if we hear of more attacks on the road, we will pay a visit to those. I don't think they will. <laughs> that place. That was always yeah. something, that, was always culture, something that, Roll and that guy that he's working for wanted to do. That's not something we ever wanted to do. I mean, you saw how that went for us. We have 13 of us and we got slaughtered. Yeah. That that was unfortunate. Um, good luck. Thanks, you too. And they both scurry out in a uh, southwestern direction. They do appear to be honoring their word to go back to the Kragma hideout. Or the form oh. formerly Kragma hideout. Surprisingly right. polite there at the end. <laughs> well, these goblins... You, you can tell that the goblins... Uh, while, while your perception of goblins are that they are uh, somewhat mindless, stupid, and vile, that maybe that's just a perception. Because you, you guys spared their lives, you treated them decently as you were, tra you know, bringing them around, and you honored your words, so they had no reason to be, uh, they had no reason to be unkind to you. Goblinoids and eradicated my whole uh, people, so uh, I'm gonna you know, <laughs> yeah. put a put a put a pin in that one. But uh, you know, I hear what you're saying, and I uh, I respect it. And he moves away. <laughs> so, uh, do we enter through the main entrance, or do we want to go where the bugbear, or you guys want to go through where King Grawl might be? Uh, but it makes a lot of noise because there's a lot of rocks. So I could cast invisibility and use this new cloak to go scout out the up and down entrances that they just told us about straight through the front and it's not like the guard towers would see me or anything. Um, maybe that'll help us choose where we want to storm in through and we could just be more efficient. Well, the last time you went in first, you, you kind of messed that up. Last time I didn't have this cloak or invisibility. Yes, I just but... had my stupid thoughts, and this time I'll be much safer. Well, are your stupid thoughts still there? Yes, but I can hold them at bay. I, I understand the difference between the stupid thoughts and the normal thoughts now. Like my hand on the shoulder people. of Harry, and I'm like... I understand your enthusiasm, but it's better we all go together. We don't want another dead. How do you call it? I'm not going to fight anything. I'm just going to walk in and see if up is the way we should go or down. Well, if I think of anybody, I think Peter has a better chance. He's a lot more sneaky. Um, <clears throat> rattles his chainmail. Oh. Uh, or... 
He should have been a lot I'm, more sneaky. You it, you no, I mean, yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm okay. Uh, I just, uh, I'm not. What, what other people may say, may call uh, proficient, but yeah, proficient. I'm, I'm not bad. I do have this this cloak that helps me uh, be more sneaky now, and okay. the spell of invisibility that I was planning on using. Did you cut holes in it for your ears? No, I definitely wanted it to conceal my ears. Oh. It get anyone looking at me has disadvantage with the perception check of seeing me. So I was thinking maybe that make me more human if they did see me. I don't know. So I just I love would... the idea that it sticks out. <laughs> well, if they can see you, how would they? Pre no. How would that give you advantage? I mean, if they see you, it's uh, it's like those little cloaks from uh, Lord of the Rings. Mateo would say, uh, you know, I bet I bet Harry and I could probably go around without being seen as long as we stay pretty far away. No, you're staying back. You're definitely <sighs> staying here, Mateo. Foolish young whippersnapper. But it's, I would suggest we go in. Well, what do you guys want Last... me to do then? You're staying oh, you're, here. You're in the back. You're hanging towards the back. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. All right, old guy. I'm... Honestly, there's a lot less enemies. We know there's a trap around the front area. So we can... We'll just try to sneakily go through the front and then we'll go down where the, go where the goblins uh, how do you call it? Uh, barracks are. We'll kill them and we'll just go and we'll kill anybody section by section. That way we won't have, we won't. The thing that happened in the, in the Red Brands hideout won't happen. How do you call it? Again, where we get jumped. I've learned from that mistake. Yeah, so we basically, can we can't. We, we, yeah. So might as well just we jump them section by section, and we clear out this castle. I mean, I could just go in there and then tell you where everyone is. Then you could pick them apart however you want. True, but you also might they also might catch you or something. And honestly, does it it using magic as stealth well it's more it's i think it's more efficient to use it as an attack hmm. what happens if there's a bunch of goblins can you use that shatter thing to like blow them all up yeah and if i knew where they were and they didn't know where i was i could just probably take out a whole room of them yes but you'll do it with everybody else there do you know you know you could get how do you call it once you lose uh your invisibility you're as vulnerable to attacks as them that is why the idea was to use the invisibility to do something other than attack I don't know if invisibility just to attack is is what I'm going to use it for. Maybe to run away if uh, I use a shatter in the wrong spot. Okay, I'll let you go inside. Harry, I'll trust you this time. Look, if it doesn't work out this time, no more ideas from Harry, all right? I think, right. you're, I think you'll be surprised. Harry's okay. redemption arm. All right. All right. Then, Harry, you go in. Figure out where they are. Make sure not to get caught or make any noise. Or try to alert them, especially. 
Is there a specific path you want me to scout out the most? Well, we know that how do you call it, King Nar is in the northeast. Well, first try to figure out where the some like. I guess try I'll to check. figure out where the goblins are, or try to figure out where uh, how do you call it? I, well, down try to figure out where the least distance so i'll go down first see if okay. there's any guards down there and then i'll start going up okay all right then yeah check floor by floor or okay. floor check the first floor and then and i don't think i'm gonna try to walk past a room filled with them so if i get stuck with that i'm just gonna come back okay and you guys can see you guys can see the map right yeah. Yes. Okay, just want to make sure. Well then, yeah, go. you can go ahead and deliberately move your character around. The dynamic lighting is set up, so you should be able to I see. I would like to cast invisibility. Alright, so you have an hour um, that you are invisible. And then I would like to cast guidance on myself for my stealth roll. Okay. That go ahead and roll a stealth check. Alright. And it gets advantage because of the cloak, and then plus. Well, you would also get you would also get advantage on stealth just from being invisible. But yeah, I don't think that rolled a number, but I'll take one. <laughs> um, for what it's worth, I've got dancing lights. If if y'all would like me to kind of. I can just like push those in and like since not everyone has uh like infravision. Um that'll probably be useful as hell while we're fighting. Alright. While Harry goes inside, I'm gonna talk to the rest of the group and say if Harry gets captured, we'll we'll just try our best to get him out. You don't currently hear oh, anything, nice. Harry. Uh, I'm gonna do a perception. Uh, wait, how, how far away are we from the castle? We're not in the front front, right? We're you're like about, a little... you're about a hundred feet away. Hundred feet by the woods, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, to the to, to the okay. west. Yeah, to the west. Okay. Yeah, Harry, sure. you don't you don't hear anything currently. Don't see like there's any traps in here. All right, I'm gonna put my ear up to this door here. Okay. And is there anything on the other side of the store? You don't hear anything. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna do it again for this store. All right. Yeah, you're not, you're not hearing anything right now. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna quietly open this door right okay. here. And yeah, you, I'm gonna let your stealth it's check roll ears. for a little while. Oh uh, yeah, you quietly open that door, and uh, you can just put yourself on the other side of it to see what you see. You see one goblin in there who looks like he is uh, probably should be watching out that arrow slit, but is definitely not. He's just is uh, this room he's like asleep. is this room like six tiles? Yeah, it's or pretty small. Like, it's, dark. it's a small little little area, and uh, it's got one goblin that's posted here with a short bow. That if if there were intruders, he would shoot out this little window here, but he's asleep. Okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> go back out here. Uh, told them I wouldn't do anything stupid. I'm gonna check this door now. All right. Um, you want me to roll this stuff or ride nope. it again? Still riding. Okay. There's another goblin who is asleep here in this room. Uh, looks like there's a little. There's a little pot laid out, and he is just uh, asleep in the corner. And you see, uh, let's see. What do you, I should be giving you the descriptions of these rooms as you go through. That one was My just apologies. really small, so it's okay. We can get the more detailed. So yeah, uh, a small room through. littered with debris, arrow slits on the opposite side of the door, um, and then in this room, uh, you see this is a storeroom. Uh, old casts of salted meat, 
and sacks of rotting grain fill the storage area. Among the supplies, you see a bloodied suit of chain mail, a heavy crossbow, and an unsheathed longsword with an emblem of Neverwinter worked into the hilt. And I'll have you make an intelligence check. Uh, nice. <laughs> yeah. That looks like some yeah. armor I could sell. Yeah. Theoretically. <laughs> Is there a blood trail going either one of these door directions? Nope. Okay. Uh, no, not fresh blood. It just looks like a bloody set of armor. All right, I'm going to open this door quietly. I will have you roll a stealth check with advantage. Okay. I haven't been rolling very well so far. Ooh, 22. 22. Yep. That's the same as what so I So that'll be good enough for your next three uh, stealth opportunities that we will count that as a 22. Okay. You see two goblins that appear to be here in prayer. Uh, this appears to be a goblin shrine area. Okay. Um, this chamber occupies the northern tower of the castle. The stone altar stands in the middle of the room, covered with a blood-stained blood black cloth. Uh, golden ritual implements, a chalice, a knife, and a censer are carefully arranged on top of the altar. Two archways to the south are covered with heavy curtains. That's this and you way. see two goblins are in here apparently at prayer. But they do I'm not gonna, notice you as you sneak through. I'm going to try and peek my head through this curtain and see All what's right. on the other side. Um, uh, you see a dark hall. Um, uh, this high, narrow hall looks as if it might have been a part of a chapel or a shrine at one time. Uh, angelic figures are sculpted along the room's upper reaches, looking down on the floor below. Uh, to the north, uh, you have the, the curtains on each side, and between the archways is a cracked but ornately carved stone brazier. So I don't know what that would be used for, so I guess I'll check this room. Uh, give me just one second. Looking for stairs. Uh, make a perception check in this room, Harry. Perception check. Okay. Yeah, you don't see anything additionally in this room. And when you open this door, you see it's, you know, it's it's the it's the it's the entryway. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Do, does that mean I had to go through it too? Into this well, spot? you don't have to have gone through through it, no. Okay. You can just open the door and see that, you know, this is the area. And you would remember that the goblins had told you that this is where the trap was, was outside yeah. that door. It's not where the stairs are, for sure. Yeah, the stairs are probably going to be in the tower, I imagine. And they said don't go through the center. So I'm not going to go to the right there. I'm going to go back through this room up here. Would you like a new stealth roll for that? Nope. You're still good. Okay, just... Walk out into here. And then it would be this next door I need a new stealth roll, right? Yes. Okay. With advantage. Allow me to check one of my spells. I will not cast Guidance, as it is verbal. 17. Yep, that's good enough. You see three hobgoblins in this room. Two are sleeping and one appears to be keeping an eye out of the uh, arrow slots to the north. Um, but there's no stairs. Uh, four plain straw pallets and bedrolls are lined up uh, on the floor of the barracks. Um, brackets on the walls hold a number of weapons, spears, swords, morning stars, and more. Uh, the north wall shows signs of damage, and the floor, uh, but the floor is swept clean of rubble. So it looks like this is where the hobgoblins sleep. 
and one of them look at it looks out through the uh the arrows there okay but there's no stairs or ladder here no so i'm gonna head back this way all right it would be weird if we had to go down to go up but it would feel very D and D-esque. Uh, about how much time was that in the hour? Five minutes. Okay, we're just moving. Um, I'm gonna cast guidance on myself. All right. To reroll stealth, as there's no one here in this hallway to hear me. I'm hoping I could be quiet. <laughs> Do I have stealth to roll guidance stealthily? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. That's a good point. Uh, nine. Yep, you're fine. Alright, and I'm gonna get a one on the roaming around stealth check, then. Uh, 22 again. Alright. Alright. We're gonna check this like door to the left. This door here. All right. And I'll just attempt to open it and peek my head in. Okay. It's another... Yeah, another archer post with another yeah. goblin that is a fleet. All right. And then we'll do the same down here. Okay. Uh, you see um, the southwest of the tower is a little bit, uh, a little more than a heap of rubbles at this point. Um, several ragged bedrolls are scattered across the remaining floor space, and the small twisting passage leads east through the ruins. Oh, oh whoops. Then I'll go... And you see two goblins in there. Past them. Yep, so you step into a banquet hall. Um, the western portion of the large hall ends in a wall of rubble, but the remainder is still intact. Uh, this must once have been the castle's banquet hall with the soaring ceiling, 25 feet high. Uh, two large wooden tables with plain benches stand in the middle of the room, and the brass brazier full of glowing coals um, is tucked into one corner. Uh, dirty dishes, half full stew pots, moldy heels of bread, and gnawed bones cover the tables. I'll just head on through and check this next door. All right. As I'm looking for the staircase. All right. Don't see nothing but caved in building here. Yep, and there's a curtain blocking this area. Oh, and up there's there? A door here. Okay, I'll go peek past this curtain. Uh, peek past this curtain. Oh my goodness, this place is a maze. Yep. No stairs. More rubbles. I don't know what you're looking for. It, it's a. Uh, each tower is, uh, it, it goes up a certain amount, but this is pretty much one flat surface area. Okay. There well, then really I guess I'm just looking and... for the, the boss guy. Okay. All right. Well, you haven't found him yet. I think he's up this way, actually. So, yeah, if you want, you can just peek around that court curtain. No stealth roll needed. Does that look like it's the rocks? From the entrance, the thing. Yeah, the northern entrance. Yeah, if uh, we came through that. The it wouldn't... This tower has almost completely collapsed, although the ground floor still has a little open space. Rotting crates and ancient barrels show that the provisions were once stored here, um, but a heavy curtain blocks the crumbling area to the south, and an intact door leads east to the north. A short passage through the rubble ends before the. Uh, before the screen of canvas. I would so like there's to... a little screen here that um, kind of blocks this area off, but uh, you can kind of see around it still because of the rubble. Here. Okay, I'll walk into here and I will guide myself again um, to continue stealth rolls. Why doesn't that roll for you? You don't need a stealth check for the guidance. You can do the guidance here without any problem. One again. All right, and we'll reroll stealth. 23? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. I will go check this door. Okay. 
All right. So you see a door door. in front of you and a curtain down below. And uh, as you close up on this door, I'll have you make a perception check with advantage as you step towards this door. Perception with advantage. Nice. I step towards this door. And then uh, you uh, hear you hear talking on the other side of this door, fairly loud. You hear a large, uh, boisterous, low bellowing voice talking to uh, what appears to be a slightly higher pitched, um, melodic voice. I guess I'll peek my head in there. Okay, roll it. Mm, yeah, go ahead and roll a stealth check. All right. Can I guide myself for this one? Sure. Really getting some good rolls on the guidance tonight. 17. Okay, Okay, let's see. Uh, Getting like, we're about to run the fuck away. Okay, you can go ahead and move yourself into that room. Fuck. That's a lot of information to take in at once. Uh, yeah. You you peek into that room, but um, in doing so, you do not appear to alert anyone, including the uh, the sleeping wolf at the top. So you see a massive wolf. Um, you see a bloodied and unconscious Gundren, but at a quick glance, you're not quite able to tell whether or not he's still living or breathing. Um, you see the most massive bugbear that you've ever seen in your life. Uh, it was King Grawl. And you see a, a drow elf uh, here, and they are they are sitting at the table uh, reviewing what looks like to be a, a map of some sort. A drow elf? Yes. Jesus. That said, I'm going to put you back over here because... You're not obviously going into that room, but you just peeked into it. Yeah. Holy crap. All right. Uh, uh, that looks like a turnaround point to me. Um, as I'm going to try to remember <laughs> the way I came. It's definitely this way. Okay. I think I'll need a new stealth for these goblins. Sure. Um, it's pretty low DC. Yeah. You never know. Oh, man. 16. Plenty. All right. We walk out back to everyone else to report our findings. Uh, I sneak up to them and I release the stealth concentration uh, about like 30 feet away. All right. Okay. Holy fuck. All right. I told you you wouldn't regret this, old jar. I know exactly where Gundren is and we can get to him in two fights or less. That's good. How many enemies did you see? I saw a fuck ton if we go in and take a left. But we don't need to. We need to go in and take a right. There's one goblin in a hidey hole uh, waiting to shoot at us. But he's asleep. If we go now, all the ones I saw except for one hobgoblin are asleep. So we could try to approach from more to the south and uh, come up from that side. Maybe we can get around his sight line. We can uh, buddy up, hop up these stairs, pull each other up, come in right under him, take a right. There's three goblins we got to take out like at the same time. I'm talking to make it as stealthy in here as we possibly can, but there's only three. Yeah. And then from there? 
from there, we go through a couple of passageways that had no one in them, no guards. Um, if we can be as quiet as possible, we just head straight into where Gundren is. Gundren, not looking so hot. Um, either they gave him a lot of alcohol and he's sleeping off whatever the fuck they did to him and he just got real low breath or um, he might not be breathing. Um, There's a big wolf, like the guys said. I found the boss man, the big wolf, and there's a random drow in there who could be magical, could not be. Um, But he they were discussing some sort of plan. I didn't listen for too long because I was getting a little scared. And I was li- I thought back to your not wanting me to get go in there and fuck up. So I just bolted out of here. That's um, good. Even though they probably have plans in there or something. So if we yeah. can take them. We can capture them or take them out. We can figure out what, what were their plans. Yeah. So um, about that. If we can get in there without alerting them, and we can take out those three goblins, um, I was thinking I lead y'all most of the way there, and then I go invisible again, and I just go in there, and I put these manacles on the dro. And then that would be the signal for y'all to charge into his room. Because it would just be him and his dog there. Well, if you were sneaky enough the first time, all right. That sounds like a good idea. But only once we're all like right outside. Hey, yeah, right outside there. But we go. need to kill the goblins really fast. Yes. They and make they, sure they're in this tower. They're okay. Guarding two different rooms in this tower. Someone's gonna have to breach into both rooms, and someone else is gonna have to prepare to to kill one of them as the other person runs in there. It's going to have to be like a three-pronged immediate thing. I didn't see any alarms, Yeah. but I don't want them screaming around, running around. Yes. Well, you said one of them is asleep, right? Can't we just kill him in his sleep? Yeah, I was so... thinking um, either me or Tim do that because we're a little sneakier. And then whoever is well... not doing that, the, all three of them go in. And get and the kill other the other two goblins dude. as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay, all right, that sounds that, that sounds like a good idea. And Mateo stays out here. Damn straight. Okay. Yeah. All I right then. If, what do I do if somebody comes this direction? Um, you hide. I'm Practice hiding those hiding hiding techniques and hide. I don't Honestly, know. he should, you know, he should find a place outside in the, in, in the bushes or whatever, you know, maybe some place yeah. that kind of looks overlooks the, um, overlooks the, uh, um, the entrance, but then like lay flat, and uh, keep watch, you know, and let's all work together right now to find a good spot for Mateo to hide. All right, uh, two of you may make a survival check, whichever two wanna. Someone uh, please find a good oh. hiding spot for him. I'm proficient in this, so I'll do. Help Mateo. Uh, yeah. Help Mateo. Who else? I got mine um, too. I'm proficient, so one sec. Save Mateo. Hi. Right. All right. Here has I'd, a better spot. <laughs> now I'd like to tell Mateo a very deceitful story after guiding myself about how some of the bravest adventurers that I've ever known stayed outside and hid in a bush and waited patiently. <laughs> Here, roll a deception you, you check. Should... Is this the tale of Robin? in that one. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you need that guidance. No, why? Is it never a four? Oh, no. He knows you're both shitty. <laughs> he crosses his oh. arms and squints his eyes at you. <laughs> Can, can we play this like, you know, you know, th- there's always one toxic uncle and then there's one uncle that's like actually helpful. Can we play this as like, you know, like he's the kind of, you know, uh, bad decisions uncle, I'm good uncle? 
he it lays like... he lays down in the hiding spot. Uh, he goes prone, as Tim suggested. All right, I'll, okay. keep, I'll, I'll keep a lookout from up here. All right, all right. We'll we'll come. So guys, we'll come in this way. Yeah. Jump through here, go around, and then go this way. So I guess we'll put ourselves. Move your tokens. Here. In that case, I will have everyone make a stealth check as you approach the castle. Well, Tim, Ezra, you guys want to move down here? That's where we're coming in from. Can I guide when... myself? I would like to guide Tim. Yeah, I can't see. Oop, one second. I would like to guide oh, cool. Tim before we make that break. And that's Tim a, gets a one! That's a, that's a two, by the way, from Sildar. He's in chain mail, so he's oh, disadvantaged. Uh, okay, all right. So, and you all, uh, you all uh, Tim, hold me, right? Uh, hey, Tim, you're over here down with the rest of us. <laughs> well, I got a six, so. Yeah, we're all down here to start. Oh. oh, wait, I got a nine. It's all right. They have disadvantage to see me. They That's couldn't still, as a group, you guys do appear to approach the castle without any alarm being thrown out there. All right, now I forgot to check how tall this wall was, but we were just going to buddy hop up that. Not risk showing About further 10 up feet. the stairs. It's a little bit of a climb up there, but yeah, you guys feel like you could probably do it. We'll is it hold... ladder time? Um, it is ladder. Do, no, do you have actually, I think we just buddy boost up right there. Yeah. Heavier well, people on the bottom send us up, and then once we got three or four up there, we can pull up anyone who's heavier. Sure. Okay. Heavy armor and stuff. All right, then. We'll walk, then. Who wants to lead the way? What's the marching order? I'll go uh, first, I guess, since I know where we're going. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll go. All right. Well, you want to move? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties here. Do you all have, like, the icons just cover the map? What? What do you mean? Oh, like um, like when I zoom in on the map, it like uh, uh, everyone's like icons down in the lower left, like just covers it. Maybe I haven't oh. figured out how the UI yet. I like zoom out further, and then okay. it just stays down there. Okay, got it. All right. So Sildar would, right. would help you uh, help you up the wall, Harry. And then, all right, Ezra, you're, you're actually second. Help, help everybody. Sildar will yeah. go last. All right, then. You want to move out of the way, Harry? I'm helping you up, too. Oh, okay. It's a buddy system all the way up. It's heavier each time, but it's also lighter each time because we got more people helping. All right. Except for Sildar. He's got no support from the bottom, so yeah, probably I can... a group, group tug. Right. I can, no, I can pick up Zildar. I'm strong enough. Yeah. yeah. All right, Tim, you want to go up? There you go. So now we're going to come in the first room that we see once we take a right. Remember, don't don't go forwards into the front hall. We're going to hug it. right. The first two rooms we open, we need to kill something. I'll just sneak in on the one that's sleeping. You four get the two to the south. Okay. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> All right, once I get outside these doors, I do the famed fist in the air to hold that uh, I learned long ago last week. And uh, I stealthily open this door to the left. All stealth check. Okay. With advantage, because your cloak is up, I'm sure. Yes, sir. 17. 17, yep. This goblin is still snoozing and doesn't notice you. Okay, I just keep this door wide open so they can like see me. And I like signal y'all with like a 
hand flowing motion to go to the next door. I'm ready. All right, I'll. I take Ezra, you want to go first, or I'll go first? Is it the door? The are you in front of a door? Um, I went to the I left, and I, I went. See much. Yeah. Okay. So y'all are going south, and I'm in the door to y'all's left. You went that my... way. And yeah. We're going this way. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hey, he removed it. Nice. And I have uh, my short sword drawn, ready to kill him uh, right before y'all open the door. Um, and so right. in that door, you see. But yeah, if you want to open that door and try to go through it, then I'll have you make a stealth check. That's okay, right. and I'll guide should we, should we help him kill this guy first, or like out of your... I'm we just could... going to stealth kill him right now, while y'all are going... Like, right yep. So as you open, open this open door... You see one sleeping goblin here, and and that's it for now. Okay. All right, so I guess I slit this guy's throat. And yeah, I'm just gonna let you do that because make my sense right. to have you roll all that. Easy. There's enough. two goblins. There is one There's goblin two. here that is awake, but you have surpri- thoroughly surprised him. So I will let you guys take an action uh, <laughs> before I even think about rolling initiative. Because you guys probably should be able to coup de grace these guys, no problem. This one's right. unconscious on the ground. This one's standing, but yeah. All right. All right. I will go after <laughs> the one that's uh, wow, uh, the, the one that's awake. All right. I'll go. I'll kill the one that's on the floor. Okay. I guess Peter already or Tim already killed one of them too. I imagine. <laughs> probably the standing one. Yeah, that one. That one dies. Oh, is he dead already? Yep. Yeah, Peter, you shot him. As soon as the door opens, right I, just, I, just lean around, I just lean around the door, see this guy, and just headshot him. Thump. I just throw my hands up. What the? He's heck? checking his corners, huh? <laughs> and I, I smash the head of the goblin that's on the ground. Doors and yep. corners. That's where they get you. Easy. All right, I come back in here. I see it's all fantastic. We're good. Um. So I like do a quiet finger on my mouth. I was taught that one by someone in this group too. <laughs> <laughs> and I point that there's something this way, quiet this way. And then I do the following motion again to the right. We're coming to the right. And do we need to do new stealth checks because we have uh, murdered things or? No. Oh yeah. Okay. Not in this so room. Just, There's nothing here to find you. We just go past these. All right. So this way. But what is the thing up in the top right corner? Brazier. Uh, yeah. Oh. It's a brazier. <laughs> um. I think Sildar should hold a vanguard right here, just in case we have to make a mad dash out. No way, I'm, I'm coming with you. I gotta save my buddy. I can lay down a trap. Headed? Wait, hold yeah, up. Can I can lay a, it. Can you put a bear trap up there? Okay, uh, I put a... Uh, you still have one of your traps, right? No, yeah. I put them up. Sorry. Alright, uh, I have my own. So I'll put a bear trap right here. Or I have a hunting trap. I'll put it there. So. hope Mateo doesn't get dumb ideas and try to run in the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set up a hun- the honey trap right here. Okay, bet. And then I'll walk back. Right, row. All right. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just messing door. with you. <laughs> I come through this. You know what? It, it might happen. You know, he is a 14 year old kid. Can we leave this door all the way open as well? Yes. Um, all right. Sorry. Every right. time I do that, I gotta go into the dynamic lighting and edit it. So it takes me just a. I know, I I actually just heavily influenced how players felt themselves about metagaming for hundreds of extra hours because I couldn't figure out the lighting. <laughs> yeah, there is a way to do it, but the, the hard. slots are tiny, so it's hard to yeah, it's hard to move them around, but Alright, so we're coming up this way. Shit. You guys pull that aside. Okay, thank you. 
I guess can pull um, this one aside because this one's pretty silly. What's this little squiggle here? Do I need to step over it's that? A it's a curtain, but you guys have, yeah, you oh, guys okay. can see around it. Um, so I'll stop at this door. We all went north. If you didn't see, it's the open. And Sildar's one. following you. I just can't do both at the same time. Yeah. Um, in here I stop and I say, uh, I kind of whisper back to Old Jar. This is where I go invisible. I open this door. There's one more door, 10 feet behind this one. And that's our door. When you see okay. that open, just charge in because I'm should already, we... I'm already trying should... to put the manacles on the guy. Oh, okay. Should we like, uh, you know, shoot in or let them charge out at us or they, they will already be on to you and, and they're going to be on me as oh, soon okay. as I get the manacles on him because I think, um, that <laughs> Think that might negate my invisibility question mark to roll arcana i don't know so do do, i'll do open what? up the door and then you can just charge straight Opening through the door okay? does not cancel invisibility. no no uh the putting trying to put the manacles on him uh yes because that's considered an attack action all right it's basically a grapple check can i use bonus actions out of combat or would they just be actions again? Well, yeah, you can do any action or bonus action out of combat. Sure. What, what, what are you wanting to do? I'm trying to hex him as I put the manacles on him and give him disadvantage to... Well, that would be casting a spell, so that would bring you out of invisibility. Okay. But, That's why I was but you could conceivably hex him and then... Uh, the same turn try to put the manacles on but you would lose advantage from it this point. yeah i want I, i'm gonna want the advantage more than the than giving him disadvantage, disadvantage yeah. i believe and then uh can i hold can i hold bonus action rage so when i know the thing happens i immediately rage or wait can uh, i do that you can rage you can rage like before the before first okay combat, i guess if you wanted okay Okay, um, well that's the plan, boys. They're gonna open I this door. Won't have any more spells besides my defensive ones after this invisibility. So I'm hoping I can just take the draw out of the equation. Um, I cast invisibility, and I open this door. And then in here, I guide myself with the plus four that we've been waiting for the whole time. Let's go. Hey. Look at that. And Roll I. Stealth as you open the door. Yes, sir. Roll stealth with the okay. plus four. Finally. Do we need you as well, or? Let's go. 21. Okay. As I open it and attempt to walk in. No, they're no, they're doing terrible things in here. <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, oh, wait. Before that, I tapped him and tell him to move out of the door. Cause, are you really want to be the front line? I'll tell him. Oh no, you can't go there. That's a wall. <laughs> he's in the. He's in a wall. <laughs> he's like, gone. He. Can, I don't think he can click on himself. I'm anymore. invisible. <laughs> it's like yeah, I just brace against you, the wall you, you, and. I just brace against the wall and I'm just like. Okay, okay. so you see the the drow is now standing over Gundren, trying to rouse him as if uh, he's trying to talk to him as you go through the room, but uh, uh, with the door fully opened, that does kind of trigger everyone. They look around and they don't see anything, but they know the door probably didn't just open itself. Uh, so we'll go ahead and have everyone uh, roll initiative. Okay. Can I go? Ahead, can I give myself the advantage on the initiative with my? Ah uh... oh, yes, a seven. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm gonna give add my. Advantage with what? One second. I'm gonna. 
All right, 20 minutes for the big boss fight. We can do that, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's easy. Well, th that's actually a question for you guys. If you would like, we can stop right now and start again next time. I'm okay if it goes a little over, but that's up to you guys. If you guys want to nah. do the fight now or if you want to hold oh, off yeah. till next week. Oh, yeah. Right now. So, three... You right right now sounds more interesting. <laughs> you heard him, guys. Move that bus. Okay, so I did the added my superiority die to my initiative. So okay. So yeah, you'll just change it in the actual turn order. Yep, I did. Okay. Oljar, you are the first to act in combat. All right, do I'll hold action till if anybody comes through this door, I'm gonna smash their head in with uh, my, how do you call it? With my, um, you know what? I'll take out my halberd. I'll have it in the air, just ready to go. Anything ready that comes, any enemy that comes out, I'll smash Ezra. his head in. Uh, jeepers. Um, do... Uh, I feel like we're... getting ourselves into a little spot here. Is, th is there a clear shot through the door? Or what? Can I see? If you can, then you can see. You can, yeah. I can see through there? You can see through right through here, right? Yeah. You can't see me. I'm invisible. So yeah, yeah you see. Yeah. yeah, you don't see Harry. Uh, what I would do is I would actually, if you try to shoot the brow, not knowing that Harry's standing right in between you because he's invisible, oh. I would have you roll a D2 yeah. to see yeah, which one you shot. No, I don't want to shoot the drow. I... Oh, I see. And down there is King Roll. The signal just... was when I put the clamps on. Yeah, so just hold action. I think that was the... Whole, the... All right. How do you call it? Just hold your action until, how right. do you call it? I, I uh, will Harry? just. Yeah, go I will ready. Ready, I will ready my bow so that as soon as. I mean, can they see me? Now the yes. Open? They have turned around and are looking out the empty door and they see Tim and Ezra. Like Drow sees Ezra and King Grawl sees Tim. I see. And Snarl has woken up with his namesake, a snarl, and is now looking towards the door. So, um, I will, uh, can I, like, ready my, uh, short bow so that as soon as anybody else comes into view, <laughs> I can be ready to shoot? Sure. Anyone but okay. the drow? Yeah, anyone but the drow. Okay. Well, King Grawl will go ahead and step up towards the door and then bumps into Harry. Shoot! Uh, if you'd like, I could say that you were holding, if you want, Harry, I could say you were holding an action as you went through the door to, uh, to try to put the manacles on something. So you okay, can, King Grawl. You can do it. that on King Grawl if you want to try. Did better than him running me over. Better than him running me over. So I roll acrobatics, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what an advantage roll. That is a failure, but it does bring you out of stealth. Um, and so he sees you. <laughs> I'd like the but... flavor to be that he bumped into me and I lost stealth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bump, well, he bumps into you, which which puts you off balance as you were trying to put the manacles on him, and and he he rustles you off, and uh, you still have the manacles there, but it, it was not successful. Uh, Ezra, if you'd like, you can release your attack at King Brawl. Okay. Your held action. Cast sleep! Ah, oh, shit. Uh, 18 hits. Nice. Dumb him up for me? Oh, nice. It's encouraging. A nice hit. Takes it to the shoulder, but, uh, it's still moving. Uh, as for him, he's going to go ahead and attempt to attack Harry with his Morning Star. Oh boy. 
Okay. Yes, sir. He's a little caught off guard by this uh, this uh, rabbit person that suddenly came out of nowhere and was trying to put shackles on him. I have 17 AC too, so he better fucking try himself. Tim. All right. Well, I'm going to take two shots um, against him. Let's see here. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, that hits. All right, and then uh, let's see. So roll damage. At that seven against King Brawl. Yep. Okay. And I'm gonna take another. Let's see. He's a tanky boy. Does that hit? Uh, Does yes. nineteen hit? Nineteen hits. All right. Nice. So. So yeah, three. So I kind of lean around the they're lean around the the door, basically seeing that kind of uh, it's already turning into a goat rodeo, and then very quickly launch two arrows into King Roll. Okay. And then, uh, Ezra, do I need to get out of your way, um, or? Um. Yeah, I will probably be stepping forward. Okay, well, I'm just gonna I'll you know just use my. A little I bit was gonna say, what's Sildar? All right, Sildar is waiting. I think oh. he's kind of guarding the other side. But if or if I can, if I need to get out of the way for him, then no, you can move through each other at the double. It's just, it costs gotcha. twice the movement. Here we but... go, Sildar. Yeah, it's Sildar's turn. Yep, it is. Oh, old, oh, old turn. We'll, we'll have Sildar go now, and then we'll put him in the okay. right turn order next time. Um, so yeah, he'll step up. So that's 20. So yeah, he can get right to here. Uh, actually, he'll go here. And he'll attack King Grohl. So 17 hits. 8 slashing. We've got you, Gundren! Ha! <laughs> Alright. Now it is the Drow's turn. The drow will step out and uh, pulls out a wand. Fuck! And uh, seeing the two arrows fly in from the back, uh, she is going to target Tim, and she is going to unload a magic missile. Um, which she will cast at third level. Double shit! Ooh. Hopefully that's the wand, at least. <laughs> see, so that is five. Five, seven, ten, fourteen damage to you. Fourteen force damage. Ooh. Now that a big... had to fucking hurt. So you just get pelted with these, <laughs> uh, with these magical darts. <laughs> That come flying in around King Brawl and Harry. Fine. I'm fine. You're fine. We're all fine. Uh, Snarl will run up and attack Sildar. Do I know if, is... um... Do I know if both sides of the manacles have to be on for the spell to kick in? Uh, if you succeed, then you'll collapse them both on there. And if you okay. fail, then you won't. There's no halfway. Yeah, there's no half, no half measures. But it is your turn. All right, uh, we're gonna skirt around this motherfucker and cast a bonus action hex on the drow. All right. And we're gonna lower, or we're gonna give her disadvantage on um, dexterity saves. I don't know if it's checks too, so I'm just gonna link it. It would be. You would know that. Uh, opposed grapple is is strength checks. Oh, actually, I don't have more spell slots, so I can't cast hex. Never mind. Oh, okay. I just run up to her and try to put the manacles on her. Oh, okay. Nice. Ooh. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and roll a uh, seven d eight. Uh, she is shackled, but does not go unconscious. Holy fuck. 
I don't think she can cast spells while shackled, though. I'm not sure. Can't use that wand anymore, anyway. Yeah, at least the one with the wand. But anything that's verbal material, she could. Anything else for you, Harry? Um. No, I like my spot right here. Um. I'd like to equip my staff, if that's possible. Sure. That's yeah, it. you pull out the staff once you're all done. That's All right, it. so at the top of the turn order. Yep. Well, no enemy came through, so oh, hold on. I'll just oh, oh, go hold for that. Thought. <laughs> As more enemies come through. Uh, you see this hobgoblin step through the curtain. Oh. All right. Fuck. If you'd like, you can make an attack. Yep. I did hold an, an attack, so. Uh, that misses, and he will actually dart back behind the curtain, going, "Huh? Whoa!" And he'll uh, he'll dart back out. <laughs> like an well, opportunity uh, attack on him? Uh, yes. All right. Thirteen misses. Wait, do I get? Does he move like really back, or? He does. He moves out of your range, but you already used your right. reaction to hold and release oh, hold. Yeah, yeah. your, All right. your held That's action. True. Okay. You also see a goblin scramble down uh, from this bunch of uh, two goblins, actually. Scramble down from this bunch of rocks. And you see this goblin appears to be a little bigger. And seems to be wearing like a makeshift robe, almost like he likens himself to a goblin priest. Kill that fucker! Ooh, only one. And you hear some chain, some chains jingling, uh, from down below this curtain. I say, everyone in here. Uh, and then as you hear those chains being released, you hear a loud. Uh, squawking, it, it almost sounds like a squawking, but it, it's more of a roar than a squawk, but it's kind of something in between. Yeah. And, Tim, you see running into this room a an owl bear, this massive feathered beast. Let me go ahead and give you guys, just for funsies. It's huge. It's huge. So glad we pulled uh, Sildur first. <laughs> yeah. Forward. Owl bear. More like owl bear. And he actually, um, with his multi attack, uh, he is going to take a bite and a claw attack at the goblin. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's just, I'm dude. Goblin. It's just a beast. Holy shit. It's yeah. just eating him. Yeah, it eats it eats the first goblin. <laughs> Holy, what the hell? And then be very claws quiet. the second. That's terrifying. It's going to kill both of them. Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> Can I do a stealth check? I just... What you want to do is close the door. <laughs> what you want yeah, to do is run in here as and close both doors. Okay. Get in here, boys. Get in here. Yeah, this is like head, the raptors are in the yeah. room. I'm we'll like, trying to be now very it's your turn. Quiet. All right, well, I'll bonus action rage. Okay. Stop yelling. And I'll roll. Uh... <laughs> Run in here. Why are you yelling? <laughs> no, I roar. I don't yell. <laughs> roar. <Quietly. laughs> All right, and roll 1d8. So I get. Wow, Surge. And I get I teleport thirty feet to any unoccupied space I see until my my uh alright. So I'll move here and I guess I'll I can teleport oh no, I already use my bonus action, right? Yeah. Uh I think you could use it on this turn immediately when you rage and then it's a yeah. subsequent bonus action. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's like similar stuff. to how and okay, then it. I'll here. Okay. All right then, and then with my 
how you call it? Halberg? I'll, I'll try to chop the... Dr no, yeah, I'll chop the drow in half. Okay. 25! <laughs> yeah, that is. Nice. <laughs> and he's fucking manacled up. He can't do anything about it. And wait, wait, uh, wait, what does, uh, sharpen do? I forgot. I think it's more damage. It's more damage, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, it is more damage. I can check. Is it? Yeah, I forgot. Or is it like a 19 is a crit? Or yeah, something? sharpened is 19 is a crit. Yeah. Okay, okay so either way, all right, either way, I crit. Yeah, and you, you rolled a 20, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Roll it doesn't damage. matter. Uh, 21 damage. Big hit to 20. it. You don't quite chop it in half, but you uh, you leave a large gash uh, down its side. But um, make a perception check with advantage. Old draw. Perception check. All right, uh, perception. 18. Something doesn't look quite right about that cut. You don't know what's going on, but it doesn't quite line up with where your, um, with where your halberd slash. Okay, okay. Something weird. Uh, Something anything weird. else for you? Uh, no, that'll be, that'll be all. All right, Focus Ezra. King, focus King Grawl. Right, so. Fuck the bear. Uh, I am gonna, okay, I'm in the corner here, sort of, that owl there, goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a predicament you guys are in. We are. Close the door quietly. And... Yeah. <laughs> so, Tim is gonna have a chance to move as well, so I will move mm -hmm. r right on in here. Uh... A little hard to see. sorry let me stop there i just want to see or to read the icons okay does the door swing inwards towards this room yes i've got a plan um so i'll go up to here yeah and i'll attack the bugbear all right Ooh, nice. nice. Uh, yeah, 20 hits. Uh. All right. Uh, I think we're all starting to look uh, bloody. He, he's hurting. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. Well, uh, Grohl is going to turn around and uh, try to slash at you, Ezra. Well, swipe with his morning star anyway. King Grawl looked like a bitch. Oh. 18 to hit. It sure does. Uh oh. Ruby gets a little extra damage. Oh. Oh. oh, that is max, max damage. 19 piercing. Oh my god. Wow. Dude gets Ooh, like a eight. hole blown through his fucking yeah. chainmail. We're gonna have to buy you new chainmail. Oh, wait, no. We have mending. Ouch. But that is his entire turn. Uh, Sildar, seeing that, will try to uh, listen to you guys and uh, focus on King Grawl. He hits with the 20, uh, but only for three slashing. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> yeah, low, low, low damage. Let's see. Actually... If he's using the longsword two-handed, that should be a D10 and not a D8. Does he have two strength as well? He has. Oh, he only has a plus one to strength, but oh, okay. um, it is a magical longsword, so it's plus two damage. Um, but I'll go ahead and add the two because it should have been a D10, so it could have been theoretic, mathematically, could have been one or two higher. So I'll, I'll add another two damage for the misroll. Fuck yeah. Fuck King Girl. All right, Tim. Um, Tim has a question. Um, which way does the door open or close? And is there any way to close this thing? Yes, you can close the door. Um, and it swings open that... this way. 
So it swings okay. out into the into the area. All right. Um, Tim thinks that uh, owl bears probably don't have opposable thumbs, and he does this extremely quietly. Um, and uh, is it okay to use that just as a free action, or? Sure. My bad. Make okay. a stealth, make a uh, stealth check. Is it, is it still kind of like uh, eating the goblins? Oh, that's not good. So you, it like it is like that as you reach yeah. out and you start to pull it back, its head goes up and looks intently at you, and then you close the door. Oh, okay, God. so uh, that's not good. Um, but I, but at the same time, he looks in and sees that uh, King Grohl is, uh, you know, the, has a couple of arrows sticking out of him. Uh, he's going to take a shot with Sharpshooter. Right. Um, and let's see, so do this. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> All right, and then so... So you check the Sharpshooter box, and then, yep. So it should be roll, right. That didn't roll sharpshooter damage, though. So. Oh, okay. So you get plus ten. I had the. But yeah. Oh, okay. No, and then because and then and then I have to hit the. Oh, I I see for for damage. So sorry, yeah. let me. But that's okay. Um, I, I can calculate that. Twenty-one damage, and King Brawl is felled by your arrow. Yeah. He's like, and then, so he's, 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 he's gonna. So he's gonna take a deep breath, which is gonna be second me doing second went. Yep. Um. So that's just a D. 10 plus 3, I guess. Yeah. All right. That's, uh, nice. that's 11 back. And then I'm going to move um, in and also close this other door, if that's possible. And then whisper, hey, there's a big fucking owlbear out there. I saw it. I saw it. It's OK. I've got a plan. I'm going to barricade that door. Y'all finish these Barricade. guys off. <laughs> Barricade. Nice. Maybe we keep the draw alive, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm breathing better now, but. All right. So this hobgoblin comes here and opens that door. Um, but he used all of his movement to get there. So he's here. But uh, but yeah, the door is opened. I mean, if I'm, I've just closed that door, does he take an attack of opportunity? What do you mean? Uh, because I mean he he just he just like walks into to my business. Okay, basically. well if if you want to try to keep the door shut, if you want to like be pushing up against the door to keep it closed, then it would I guess it would be a strength check. Uh oh. His versus okay. yours versus the hobgoblin. Yeah, he shoves the door <laughs> open, and in fact he actually <laughs> moves you forward. And steps into the room. Okay. I like the creativity, though. All right, so the drow will now uh, look down to Harry and will start uh, attempting to slam uh, their their basically clasps clasps hands. And uh, it has multi attacks, so it gets two slam attacks, but it is restrained, so these have disadvantage. 11 and 17. Uh, I have 17, so I'll react with shield. All right. But you don't have any. Oh, yeah, out of the staff. That's right. Right. Okay. And Harry, your turn. All right. Uh, Y'all work on these guys, knock them out, whatever. I'll be right back. We're going to barricade that door. Cause I saw some scary shit, and then I pop into my genie dimension with my action, and uh, I'm gonna have to wait till next turn to pick up the ladders. Okay. Well, Snarl is going to try to take a bite out of um, Silvar. And 14. Does have him flanked though, so that would actually be 16, which is him, which is his armor class. Can I use? Can uh, I use interception? Can I use interception to reduce that? Sure. So it's eight damage. And Sildar has to make a strength saving throw. 
and succeeds, so it does not get knocked prone. Uh, so you reduce it down to two damage. Eight. Oh, you reduce it by eight damage? It's one D10 plus your fighter level, I believe, so that's six plus the two is eight. Okay, reduce, so yeah. Reduce it by eight. Yeah, you completely reduce all the damage then. All right, the owl bear. Uh, let's see. Uh, it can't make it through that, so it's actually uh, you would you guys would see it run up and around, and you would actually hear it attacking this door. The door next to the wall. Or... Yep. Or I guess I don't hear that though. Yeah, knocks the door, door down. Let's see, let's get this door out of the way. And we'll actually attack the first thing it sees. So it will attack the wolf with its claws. This is our MVP so far. <laughs> but misses. And uh, Olger. Oh wait, right. sorry, top of the turn order. Alright, so at this point two more goblins uh, would scramble up over this heap and one goblin and uh, one hobgoblin would arrive. Hobgoblins are already in the turn. Alright. So the goblins actually are going on this turn. Let's see, they have 25 feet of movement. So this one will move here. And this one will actually stay back and attack with its bow. But the first one is going to try to take a scimitar attack at um, Tim. And misses. This one, though, will shoot short bow at Tim and also misses. Hold your Alright. I'll hit the drow again. Okay. I'll be at 19. Uh, and yep, 19 hits. 14 slashing. Alright. Looking pretty hurt. Nice. And I'll, I'll just like, uh, no, I'll keep my same spot. That's fine. All right. Sildar is going to attack the wolf again. And gets one hit for 11 slashing. Wow. Not bad. Poor wolf. Brawl uh, is dead, so let's get him out of the turn order. Ezra. Um, let's see. Second win is a bonus action, right? Correct. The fighter, yeah. So I'm going to attack the drow. All right. Ugh. This is. And I'll do second win as a bonus action. All right. Tim. Uh, All right. Tim. So uh, I'm I'm the, this to. Uh... This hobgoblin is right next to me, so I'm going to have to use my uh, short sword. Okay. But, let's see. But I'm going to use a superiority die with that. Let's see. You want to take sharpshooter off. Oh, yeah. No, it's still on. You are correct. Good call. Uh, I don't do this so often then... enough, Old Jar, but take inspiration. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you get a you get a, a D six added to whatever roll you'd like. Nice. So my oh so that was uh it was already minus five, so Oh well that's sharpshooter. Huh. You gotta take sharpshooter off of the uh the global attack modifier. 
Yeah, sorry. I, um, so do I should I reroll it or just just take that off of the, no, we'll the plus uh, five to it uh, rather than negative three? Um, so yeah, it's sixteen. Well, no, he also has plus two for advantage. He's the the cow goblin is technically uh, surrounded, right? Well, no, that so would it be, should be, it should have been a nineteen. It doesn't uh, apply the other way around. He's flanked, not the gob the hobgoblin is not flanked. Oh, okay, okay. So Oh, I'm flanked. So it should be a plus two, so it'd be sixteen. Uh but uh he brings up a shield and blocks. Sixteen Oh, okay. Hit. Sixteen doesn't hit okay. That no. well, that's all I got for this one, so Okay. Got it. Uh the drow will uh try to do two slam attacks at him since Harry has disappeared. My plan's backfiring right now, what? actively. Okay, uh, that second one hits. Hit. Doesn't he have disadvantage? Nine oh yeah, it is with disadvantage because he's restrained. You're right. Don't forget uh -huh. that damage. I got you, my boy. Eleven and Thank you. I put the manacles on. They the stay on. The goblin will. This one will step up, and uh, the only one that it. Well, so this one. Is gonna attack Sildar. The fact that he has multi attack and spells makes me think the Drow is actually the boss of this dungeon. Not the. This hot <laughs> Not... goblin, though, will shoot a longbow attack at him. 20 to hit. Damn. Yep. For mm. 7 piercing. Okay. Is it Vanish? Or which hot goblin? This one. Oh, oh, I didn't see it. Oh, wow, I barely see it. Yeah, he's way off on He's that. way yeah. back there. He's way back there, yeah. Yeah, if we Narl could... is going to... Uh... uh Snarl's in a rough spot. Yeah. <laughs> he has a big owlbear Snarl's right next to him. Snarl's gonna run away from the owlbear. Uh, it's gonna try to move away, and... The owlbear is going to take an attack of opportunity, which hits and kills him. Good. <laughs> Harry. All right. I'd like to pick up uh, the 20-foot ladder and the healing potion. Would that take more than an action? No, you can pick up that, so... Okay, I pick both of those up, and I use my bonus action to leave the space, and I'm like, holy fuck, that is not what I expected to happen in the last 20 seconds. How do I get rid of the castle? You just, yeah. Okay. All right, uh, I come back. My plan was to barricade the ladder <laughs> from this wall to one of the doors so that the owlbear couldn't get us, and he's right the fuck there. Yep. Um, so I just dropped the ladder immediately, and uh, I, I uh, that's my turn. <laughs> well, as an action, you still have your action if you want to do anything. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be an action to pick those up. No. Um, Free object interaction. Amazing. Um, I would like to right, cast Agonizing Blast at that. Okay, that so you do thing. have disadvantage because uh, you're within melee range of, of an enemy. Oh shoot, I have disadvantage on him because this guy... Yeah, you have disadvantage on ranged attacks if there is an enemy within melee range of you. Okay, could I shock and grasp him instead then? Absolutely, you have advantage because they are restrained. Aha! Fuck you! Yeah! Yep. Oh. Ten damage. Big shock, and they lose their reaction. Anything else to which, for you? To which I run over here. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, the owl bear will use all of its oh, movements, boy. squeezing through. Uh, and it actually like uh, it actually breaks down part of the wall, but it squeezes through the door and entrance into the room, and suddenly you guys are realize uh maybe maybe the owl bear is the real boss of this fight i don't know could i yell at it to try and get it to attack me as it runs in i'm running at it um 
Sure, make an intimidation check, I guess. Die, you dumb fucking bear. Oh, okay. <laughs> nope, it's going to attack who it wants, uh, which is uh, probably Sildar, the first one. We'll, we'll say uh, the beak attack goes to Sildar and hits for eight piercing. Oh, oh well, let's see. Talent. Hold on. Sildar has a thing that I keep forgetting about. Nice. Nice. Uh, so his AC becomes um, 22. So it actually, the beak attack misses. Wow. That's so crazy. He, yeah. So he uh, he swipes he swipes the beak away, and then uh, the claw attack will go at Ezra. Damn. Well, that's twenty three. Double fuck. Oh, oh for sixteen gosh. slashing. Wow. I am at death door. You All right. And at the top of the turn order, the last two hobgoblins show up. I thought you guys learned this lesson the last boss fight to clear out everything. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we would make less noise than an owl bear bashing through the walls of the castle, but I was clearly mistaken. This goblin is going to run into the room there. And so now both these goblins are going to take scimitar attacks at Tim. No! Is uh, the 19 hit? Yes. For six slashing. Hold jar. Why didn't All we right. just shoot these people from outside again? <laughs> what are... <laughs> Alright, I'll... I'll try to kill the drow now. Just come. Alright, that's my halberd. Uh, All right. yeah, 18 hits. 18 hits. Nine damage. Okay, so as the drow goes down, um, it it falls to the ground unconscious, and it actually, you see it kind of morph a little bit, um, and it, you actually see it change form. Change form? Yeah, it turns into what you see is a doppelganger. Ooh. What the fuck? But it is dead. But that's, that's just, some. You see, uh, you see this weird shifting creature that shifts back into a uh, in, into this uh, nondescript husk of a humanoid creature. Oh fuck! How many of the motherfuckers that we've talked to in this campaign are doppelgangers? Anything else I for bet. you, Old Jar? I bet so. Uh, <laughs> oh. He started looking weird at Sildar. <laughs> He's been oddly friendly with us, hasn't he? <laughs> Sildar, now! He stabs Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> that right, owl bear is a doppelganger. <laughs> Big ass doppelganger. Alright, that's all I can do. You guys be. Be ready to either get the hell out of the way, or uh, Sildar will attack the owl bear, who seems like the biggest um, threat currently. Tim gestures to the three goblins surrounding him and says, "Am I a joke to you?" <laughs> uh, yes. So a fourteen would hit it <laughs> for eleven slashing. Good hit. Nice. Yo, he's easy to hit. He just has 200 HP. That's right. Oh, boy. Um, this was a pickle, y'all. I am in a pickle. Um, I tried to take aggro. Let's see. Yeah, I, uh, I'm in rough shape here. I will... Um, Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to use my action surge 
right. I'm going to uh, cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. Hello? No. What's going on here? I feel that. What is going on? I'm trying to click on it. Yeah, click it on your sheet, not on that. On the description. Yeah, yeah I am, actually. I'm clicking it on the sheet. Well, Just it has it. to be on the damage one, not on the... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's not on there for some reason. That's why. Oh, then just do 1D, 1D8 plus your modifier. All right. Uh, Unless you're casting it at second level. Yeah, if I cast it at second level, you get what does 2D that do? Plus your modifier. I mean, yeah, I think I will do that. Are you second level? In casting? Well, I'm a first level. I'm a second level fighter and a first level cleric. Oh, oh yeah, you only have first not, level spells. You only okay. have one first. So that's nine. That helps. Nice. Um, I will use my second action to attack the owlbear with my rapier. Nineteen nice. Nice. Well, that's disappointing. And then, every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. And then I will use uh, use my bonus action to drink a potion of healing. Okay. Tim. All right, so uh, I am surrounded. Um, I'm going to I'm going to attack the same goblin here, hobgoblin, okay. excuse me. And I'm going to with my short sword. Uh, yeah, nineteen hits. All right, and then. So does the spear already die count for? Can you can use that for damage or to hit? Because I definitely want to use it to, if I can use it on, on damage. Yeah, what feature are you using to add it to damage? Let's see. The, There's uh, a maneuver that you would be using that would let you do that. Yeah, no, I'd be using the... Um, sorry, the uh, precision attack here. Oh, okay, so it's only to attack. Right. Got it. Okay. And it says you can okay. do it after you roll. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So let's there is do one. There is a maneuver for damage, but. Yeah. No. No. I did the one that for. Um... Yeah. So yeah, just hit the click on the short sword button in the chat, and then we'll see how much damage you do. Oh, duh. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Nice. Big hit to it. It's looking uh, looking pretty roughed up. And then I need to uh, down a potion. So I've got one potion of healing. Yeah, so you're rolling 2d4 plus 2. All right. Nice. Okay, 10. 10. That's, so that's this, about as good as I could possibly get. So this hobgoblin is going to come out uh, up here. Um, going to try to shoot past the um try to shoot past the uh all bear all bear yep and these two will come in here i'm gonna try to shoot at harry you won't you miss um this one will try to slash at uh tim 18? Yep. Yep. For 7 slashing. God damn. And these two, uh, let's see, this one would line up here. Where is this one will try to line up a right shot around me? the corner at Sildar. Is Tim right below me? Yeah. Yes, yes. Hits. Yep. Six. Can I use my inter interception to try to... Absolutely. In there, yep. Is that for melee attacks only, or does that also account for range? Just me melee attacks. Okay. So yeah, sword, so the, the melee attack... The the long oh yeah the long sword hit so yeah you can intercept that. Okay. So six less damage. 
I thought it was seven. Aren't you a level two fighter? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, seven so seven. Fighter. So yeah, it negates that. Yourself in this okay, so... uh, this one this one will shoot <laughs> this one will actually shoot at uh Voltjar. Okay, but the longbow did hit me, right? Okay. No, the longbow hit Sildar. A uh, nineteen okay. to hit you, Oljar? Uh that's a hit. Okay. Uh three piercing reduced to one to one, yeah. Alright, and that's the Hobgoblin's turn. Harry. Uh, looks like I need to let Old Jar get the fuck in here, so I'm going to bonus action. No, I, actually, I have up. a different plan, so... <laughs> well, <laughs> I rabbit hopped <laughs> over here um, to go help Tim. Um, right. I'm going to Agonizing Blast this goblin. Okay. The closest one to me. You will. You will. Mother that is. There we go. And I would like to add my two... Uh, damage from my genie. Sure. And deal 13. <laughs> nice. Yep. Killed it. All right. Um, <laughs> I, I weakly say thank you. <laughs> I'll go ahead and step up one more to the plate right here. Mm. And I will kind of eye this window. Does it look like I could fit through that? Uh, it would be a tight fit. You'd have to make an acrobatics check. Okay, I was just curious. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Always good to have an escape plan. <laughs> the owl bear uh, will attack uh, Sildar twice. Um, beak and claw. And both of those yeah. hit. See. Not Sildar. Oh, I guess he can... Can't he add more uh, AC? Yes, so he will parry... The beak attack. Yep, so it raises it to 18. So, yep. Lit. Dude, but, Sildar's goaded. But then gets hit with claws for 11 slashing. He's still goaded. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. And the goblin. One goblin remaining here will step up and try to scimitar attack Harry. 15. Perfect. No, sir. All right, old jar. All right. Well, I guess I'll step up towards the owl bear. All right. All right. And I'll give it a good chop to All its right. to its mat one of its massive legs. Yeah. Thirteen just hits. Oh. Just hits. Oh, okay. Holy oh, shit! It's got such a fucking low AC. It's big. It's not hard to hit. But it hits yeah. like a truck. Fourteen. Sure. And it's bolt. It's beefy. Yeah. But it's starting to. It's start, you're, you're seeing it's bleeding. It's not. It's not having a great day. I mean, it had about four snacks on the way in here. I'd say it's pretty neutral. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Oh, wait, bonus action. Yeah. I'm gonna pop right here. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Sets up the and flank. Bolt. Bold move, Cotton. Um, Kildar is going to attack the Albert twice. Both hit. Whoa! Hey, <laughs> max damage Whoa. twice! Sildar? Sildar's a goat! It's because I told him he was a goat. He got inspiration on those rolls. Damn! Alright, the Albert is looking a little crazed right now. Sildar? More like Sild. Dad, holy shit. <laughs> Can we just work for this guy? Sil Daddy? So I, I mean, <laughs> I invited him here, so like. <laughs> That's uh, right. All right. Um, I... <sighs> all right. Um, I'm going to attack the owlbear with rapier. All righty. Tim, I've almost got you out of this. A flank here. Thanks, buddy. Uh, yeah, fourteen hits, and that is it for the owl bear. Come he's, on! He's oh wow! Down in a heap, a giant heap, but a heap brutalized. Hell yeah, Ezra. All right. Brutalized. Uh, Anything else for you? Let me see. So he's toast. Um, no. 
That's it. All right, Tim. All right. Same as before. Let's do this. Take that hob out, Tim. Let him know. Let's All go. Right. 15 misses. What? Okay, oh, so I am going to use a superiority die here. You're attacking the hobgoblin, right? Yeah, so I am going to yes. use one of the superiority die on that, so let's okay. see. The one to hit. Let's see, so that's just a 1d8. Let's yep. see. I need much more than that. <laughs> 17. Six, uh, 17 just misses. He gets, what? The sh- he gets the shield up and blocks your strike. That bastard. 18. Armor yeah, it's got an 18 armor class. Uh, he would be attacking oh, two-handed if, sorry. if he had a 16 armor class. That was aspirational. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Well, so I'd I'll... like to move out of the way, but I can't. You can. Sure. You could disengage. I know that, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but that's, that's a bon- is, that, is, is that just a bonus action or is no, that an action? That's an action. That's an action. No. Yeah. No, oh, we, yeah. we have to. We gotta. We gotta kill these guys. Yeah. That's the way so we get to go I've home. One will go here. Here. Is that right. a, did so I get the, an opportunity to attack when the guy ran by there? Who? Uh, the they ran by. Into here. One there are, it's, kind of, of... it's kind of around a corner. It's a little awkward. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't. I'm my bad. My bad. Yeah, you're no, too far away. My, yeah, Sildar, maybe you can make an argument for that, but it's also awkwardly around a weird corner. You'll never take me alive, Hobby. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so let's start from the the top one. The top one will attack Oljar. 16? Uh, Two slashing (laughs) reduced to one. Wow, it just hits me. I'm like, I just stare at him like, really? You're like, fuck what? What? Really? Really? Seriously? Uh, Okay, this one will attack uh, Sildar. And this is uh, this one will attack Tim. And Mrs. Misses. And the bottom one will attack Harry. 17? Uh we're gonna shield that. Alright. Two more off of your staff. And I am looking like a fat AC. Is shield four or five? AC. I shield is plus five. Four, yeah. Twenty-two. Four, five. Wow. Huge. So I'm... Harry, your turn. Um well, I'm doing my best, but that's uh, looking like a little much for me. But at the same time, I think about my teammates and what it's like for them in this kind of encounter. Can I bunny hop over them into this corner sure. to make myself more vulnerable looking? Sure. All right. I hop into this corner with my bonus action to try and get them to focus in on me. And I would like to intimidate them. Uh, I'll shatter this whole place to bits if you don't finish me off quick, boys. All right, yeah, very intimidating. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> I'll blow myself up if you don't kill me. <laughs> they all look at you incredulously. Yeah, okay. Well, I jump to this corner, try and intimidate them, and I, I'll just fucking shocky grasp the goblin. All right. <laughs> Uh, cause he looks. He looks so he looks shockable. Like yep, twenty-four <laughs> hits. Nice. Uh, and plus two from my genie. Yep, he's dead. Nice. You should have done that first, and then it's my dude. Full charge. Yeah. <laughs> I'll think about that next time. Yeah, right. The other two hobgoblins look at each other, go like, hmm, I'm, it, I'm, they're like, I'm, I'm a bit more intimidated now. Maybe. Yeah. They're All right. like, huh. I will use my halberd too. Yep, 23 hits. Right. All right. And I believe my thing goes to 17 again. Nine damage. He's grievously wounded, but still up. And then I'll I'll wait up. I'll hmm. yeah I'll stay right here I'll block the door from actually you know what I'll bonus action right here too. 
So I'll use teleport right here. Okay. All right. That's all. All right. And uh, Sildar will take two attacks at the bottom guy here. 18 hits. Three slashing. The guy's just, just barely <laughs> hanging on. He had that giant hit on the owl bear. Yeah, that's how that's how the, that's how the rolls go. Besides that, he's just like tickling. The, the owl bear was kind of just walking into our weapons, though. So. <laughs> By the sense. way, um, let's, see. let's have a little fun here. I'm having a lottle. Uh, you guys see an arrow fly in from the other direction and uh, look like somebody was trying to attack this hobgoblin, but uh, missed oh, badly. Gosh. <laughs> Son of a uh, bitch. You got this, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Ezra, your turn. Yeah. Um, so, can I step down here? Uh, absolutely. Okay. So yeah, I you gotta go. That. Well, you gotta go. You gotta go past. You gotta go to the like the bottom space. You can't be in the oh, same I... space as Tim, but you can go to here oh. if you want. To here? Yeah. There's nobody there. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to leave poor Harry. Uh, sure. I'm good. I'm great. <sighs> um, <laughs> You've got like 20 AC right now. <laughs> uh, I got 22 AC, full HP. I'm looking well, pretty actually, good. Right now it's back down to 17 because you shielded right before your turn. But, yeah, yeah, I got another shield though for him. You do, you do. I got <laughs> two more before I got to worry about anything breaking. Um, Shields don't work against natural ones. I, uh... Listen up. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get me one of those. Ezra, what's up? All right, I'm going to. Uh... I'm gonna attack the one underneath Sildar. Well. So the one to my west is hurt to some degree already, right? No. Nope. These two are these two. Those two are ones are untouched. Fully healed. Yeah. These guys are fully this healed, and on this was almost dead. Are they all three hobgoblins? Yeah. Yes. All four of them are hobgoblins. All four of the guys that are left, they're all hobgoblins. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then I'm gonna go after the one um, that uh, what's his name? He's been working on. Uh, yeah. So I'll go after him with my rapier. And me. Excuse me. Can we listen to uh, Motley Crew Wild Side? Because that guy called us a Motley Crew earlier. Uh, yeah, that hits 19. Cool. Yep, you eviscerate this guy. There we go. Anything else for you? Uh, that's it. All right. Hildar will step out and attack this guy. Yep, cut through right down. going crazy. And he'll use the rest of his turn to step out here and yell, We told you to hide in the woods! What's wrong with you? <laughs> Tim. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tim starts off by, by looking at Ezra and said, I had that guy. Come on. <laughs> um, <laughs> I almost had him. <laughs> he feels a little bit miffed um, after like whacking that guy like five times. Um, he's still within uh, <laughs> five. He's still within, but but it, he, he appreciates it though. Um, he uh, he's still within five feet of the hobgoblin to the um, this guy. Yeah. Just... Okay. Still in melee so that guy. okay. So then, short sword it is. Um... We got him flanked though. And uh, definitely want to roll is... a superiority die on that. So. <laughs> Eleven. So yeah, you need seven. You need plus seven. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. So no. All right. Uh, so he 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 he, ru he runs up and, and it's just too short and just kind of. Well, he has uh, a he has a plus quite make two it. from me flanking it as well, doesn't he? Oh uh, yeah, I guess you're at thirteen right now. But yeah, you would need a five or higher. <laughs> it's fifty fifty. Sixty two point uh, five percent chance. All right, the 62.5 thing convinced me, so here we go. <laughs> we got you with the damage calc, bro. I, 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 don't, I don't know what those numbers mean, but damn it, they sound sexy. 
Yeah. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right. The Don't worry. The, uh, the high rolls on the damage. Oof. I mean, nice. you get, See, there you go. You stab him right through the back of the knee with your short so, sword, and he Ezra, crumbles. Ezra, Ch Ezra chuckling and kind of making fun of me, like, well, I got him. That makes me angry, and so I actually like, kind of rush forward, you know, and, and, and I put a little extra heft into my chop and, and sink into this guy. Go, and then I, I look at you again, and I'm like, yeah, what now? All right, so that goblin... <laughs> it's all friendly. Is, that goblin's going to drop... The hobgoblin's going to drop his shield and attack with two hands and with his longsword at you, Tim. And miss. I may... That was like, I may regret this. Yeah, the bottom one. But not yet. Attack um, Ezra. And miss. Oh, Harry. wow. Tide's turn. These hobgoblins are are petering out. Yeah, these guys kind of suck, low key. Uh, I'm going to take my short sword and try to stab this one that me and Tim have playing. You shouldn't have turned your back on me, buddy. Well, uh, 15. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently it doesn't matter if you turned your back on me, buddy. Bulger. Oh, is this like the sixth round, right? Or yeah. it's been more? It's been a while. Yeah, right. <clears throat> it's been a while. Okay, so my rage is probably gone. No, it, it lasts for 10 rounds. No. Oh, 10 rounds. Okay. Yeah, it's one minute. Oh, okay. So, all right, then I will. Very pop few right here. Go ten rounds. All right, I'll pop right here from this hog goblin, and I'll smash it. In a teleporting barbarian, mm -hmm. and with the miss. The teleport throws you off a little bit, and uh, oh, oops, you miss. Whoa! Watch that thing. I was chop Harry in half. Mateo, get XP. Get XP. Get XP. <laughs> all right, then I guess that's the all. Twenty. Oh. Uh, Sildar um, deflects uh, an arrow coming from coming from out in the woods. Says, what are you doing? It's me. <laughs> Just stop shooting. <laughs> Ezra. Uh, <clears throat> so does it count for the one beside me that he is flanked as well? Do I get a plus two for the one that's between Harry and Old Sure, Dark? Yeah. For this left one, he is flanked three different ways. So yeah, yeah. four different right. ways. Woohoo! Yep, that hits. He goes down. The rapier to the eye. God damn it, again? <laughs> and so I will then take a step down here. All right. Get a little more room for everybody else. <laughs> Sildar will walk back in. Here, he'll attack the hobgoblin twice. Hey. Miss twice and Timster. Hey. I'm far enough out. I can like I'm actually five feet away. I'm no I'm no longer Correct. like uh, I can shoot my bow again. Yep. <laughs> uh, breathing a sigh of relief, I unlimbered my bow and uh, gonna use. Let's see, I already used sharpshooter, didn't I, for this encounter? Oh, you can use yeah, it once per round. Oh, okay. So I will do that and <clears throat> natural one is uh -oh. gonna miss though. Uh oh. Womp womp. Right, this hobgoblin will get one last chance. He will attack uh, Sildar and misses. Somebody, please, coup de gras this hobgoblin so we can all go to bed. Harry. Shocking grass! Yep. Plus, yes. two. Plus two Ooh. extra. Uh, that's good. That's a good start. It's hurt. Yeah, now I can jar. run. Now I can run the fuck over here. You can. Right. What kind of armor has he got on? All right. Oh, the hobgoblin? Yeah. Uh, chain mail with shield. But he dropped the shield to attack two-handed. Uh, yeah, that hits because of flanking. That's flanking. 17. All right, 17? Yep. Seven. And that is it. Yay. The last yeah. hobgoblin goes down. And with that, the room falls quiet. 
You see Sildar is breathing in the corner. It looks like he was roused and was being, uh, had been continued being interrogated. You look around at all the blood, all the carnage, and you guys realize you're going to have some cleaning up to do, some, some looting to do. But for now, you can take a sigh of relief that, that you've cleared out the castle. And that is where we're going to end the session tonight. Yay! Hey. We did it. <laughs> no potions necessary with the greater kind. All <laughs> miners. All Barge. Miners. Okay. The funny thing, I only took two damage. I took zero. Dude, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I ran in first and I took zero. So I was really trying, but I just was not very intimidated. Well, I was trying to tank and get like all the hits, but then everybody just ran in, ran in and it's like, I'm oh, you're taking it. up spaces? We're like professional wild dungeon runners. We just kite <laughs> all the mobs to the end of the dungeon yeah. and we just kill them all in we one fell swoop for the free XP. Does Mateo level up? Did he yes. get XP? <laughs> For shooting Sildar. Yes. <laughs> that makes him a part of the encounter, right? Like it was. <laughs> a teeny tiny part of the encounter, and yes, we'll say he levels up to level one. Yay! Yay. Yeah. This is the most happiness day of my life. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Mateo. <laughs> <laughs> a single tear rolls down his weathered cheek. He's getting the approval he never got from his own dad. I I feel so happy right now. <laughs> I've gone right. from killing adventurers to teaching adventurers. So many adventurers. fails. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta bow uh, out here. Yeah, man. Same. Good night. Good night, y'all. Awesome, right, good Thanks, night, guys. See you next Sunday. Good job, everybody. Sunday. See you next week. Have a good night. Thank All right. you. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.